Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the Co-op Community Complex for the 61st running of the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. Of course, today we're going to deal with some USSA business in the Pro Champ class, but we're going to start off today with race number one. We want to welcome all of our online viewers. Race number one will be the Junior 1 380 and Junior 2 600 Sprint. This will be five laps. And on the number 43 is going to be Carson Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota. The number 53, sponsored by Gusta Sod Farms, this is Alyssa Gusta. Riding the number 60 is Braxton Cassidy out of St. Genevieve, Manitoba. This is a 1990 Polaris. Riding the 59 out of Drayton is Hunter Johnson. And the 916 is going to be Harrison Lefevre out of Hibbing, Minnesota on a 2007 Wall. This is race one, junior one 380, junior two 600 sprint. Next up, Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Racing. USSA in town here today in Bozizer at Co-op Community Complex as we get set to go racing for our first one of the day. 49 races on the schedule today. Good start for Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota on the 2020 Johnson Racing chassis. Showing lots of strength down the back straight away at our first race of 49 on the day here at Co-op Community Complex. I'd like to thank FXR for their sponsorship. In fact, we've got a lot of new ones we'll talk about throughout the day, but right now the 59 doing battle. The 916, Harrison Lefevre out of Hibbing, Minnesota. On the outside of the back straightaway now, looking at the number 59 of Hunter Johnson. A great race developing over there in turn number three. Great battle for the first and second spot. Wes Augusta on the 53. The 43 is Carson Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota. This race scheduled for five laps. Green flag being displayed as the 59 continues to lead the 916 into turn number one. Into lap traffic now and past lap traffic down the back straightaway. Many thanks going out to FXR, Beaver Truck Center, Bojager Co-op and Bojager GM. Some of our proud sponsors here for the 61st CPTC Championship. Canadian Power Toboggan Championships, of course, happening tomorrow. USSA Pro Star last round here today. Looking up front here in our first race of the day. The battle going now into turn three and four on the white flag lap. Checkered flag is the hands of our starter, Riley Baker. And he'll be waving that checkered flag and it's gonna to go to the number 59, followed by the 916. Hunter Johnson and Harrison Lefevre. Good ride for Alyssa Gusta on the number 53 out of Stead, Manitoba. 43, Carson Peterson unofficially fourth. And the 60 coming across the line is Braxton Cassidy out of St. Genevieve, Manitoba. That is a 1999 Polaris. Also like to thank some of our sponsors. They include Cobra Enterprises, Travel Manitoba, Moosehead, Access Credit Union, Bozizure Home Hardware, Sobetsky Enterprises, Westside Power Sports, RM of Broken Head in the town of Bozizure. All right, here we go. Race two on the day. We are going to scratch the 35 of Dar Dylan Barron out of Anola. Dylan Barron out of Anola on the 35 of scratch. Who will be in this one? Well, in race number two, Pro Champ 440 Pro Star, round one, heat number one, the 102 Blaine Stevenson with four USSA wins this year. Blaine is on the Wall Brothers machine. He is out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, 2023 Polaris. The 157 is going to be John Hankey out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin on a skidoo. Tom Olson out of the Wall Brothers racing camp. Tom is out of Lodi, Wisconsin. Riding the Greenbush, Minnesota, Wall Brothers 2023 Polaris. 
Again, we're going to scratch the 35 of Dylan Barron from your lineup sheets. The 5 is going to be Russ Lieba out of Warburg, Alberta. The 91 out of Bozizier. Sam Bloor, Glenn Whitechuck is on the 26 out of Bozizier. And Danny Lambert out of Sorel Tracy, Quebec on the skidoo, number 3. Good to have Danny Lambert back with us. The weather all racing entry. Fourth in Eganville both days this year. Sponsored by Skelton Truck Lines and Choco Design. There is that bright blue number three on the outside all the way from Quebec, Canada. USSA Pro Star round one, heat one. The premier class here in Beauxjour at Co-op Community Complex. We are racing, here we go. Lots of speed being carried into turn number one and two. Premier sleds and premier drivers on the racetrack. Look at the race for third, fourth, and fifth. Wow. One oh two, the thirty nine, and the five in the top three. Blaine Stevenson has had a fantastic year on the USSA Pro Star Cup Tour, and right now showing the way on the big half mile here at Co-op Community Complex. That Wall Brothers Racing entry, seriously fast. Sam Glur on the 91 in the four spot. That rider is out of Beauxjour. Nice run so far. Danique Lambert in the fifth spot unofficially. Great racing in the top five and another good race for sixth and seventh. 24 Pro Champ sleds registered here this weekend. Ninety-one miles per hour on the previous circuit. Lane Stevenson running away. The thirty-nine in the second spot. The one fifty-seven is John Hankey out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. But right now, it is all the one zero two of Blaine Stevenson. Stevenson will win this first heat going away. Second spot to his teammate, the 39, the 157, the 91, and the three of Danique Lambert unofficially in the top five. Well, good to see the 157 here. That is, of course, John Hankey out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. He started racing at 12 years of age. He is now 30, so he's been racing 18. And he is a part of a father-son team sponsored by Incredible Bank. He was last here in Beauxjour in 2020. And his dad, Steve, in this family affair, actually races late model asphalt trucks. And he's a former ice oval racer himself. So great to have the 157 of John Henke here at Co-op Community Complex this weekend out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. But Blaine Stevenson with the win in Heat 1 Round 1. He is out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, riding that Wall Brothers Polaris FXR Woody's Walker Evans entry. Current USSA points leader with four wins. Bonacher and Valcourt winner this year, a two-time Pro Star Cup champ, a four-time Eagle River World Champion, the 2020 Canadian Champion. Blaine Stevenson on the 102 started at three years of age, racing at three. Turned to the big sleds at the age of 10 and turned pro at 18. And right now, while well, that's a pro, all right, winning our first round heat one race as we roll our third race of the day. And your first rider on our lineup sheets hardly needs any introduction. He is out of West Chicago, Illinois, a four-time TLR Cup champion and a CPTC champion as well. Started on Mini Z's. He is sponsored by Red Bull, Skidoo, FXR, and Woodies. This is G Money. The 220 is going to be Gunnar Stern. Riding out of Bozizier on the 21 in race number three of the day. This is Tyler Obi on a Skidoo. The 233 is Matt Bennett out of New London, Wisconsin. Riding the 11 is Fred Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin, riding a 2023 wall chassis. Good looking sled. Saw that in practice here yesterday afternoon, and it looked pretty slick. Riding the number 24, a local rider who does just a great job 
in this class in his first year, Jordan Sobetsky, sponsored by Sobetsky Enterprises and Big Smoke Barbecue. Started at age four. He's been racing 15 years. Tied for second in the Central Minnesota Pond Racing Series this year. Did Jordan Sobetsky on the 24. 16, DJ Saluk out of Bozizier. The 31 is Will Garceau out of Wisconsin. And the one is Griffin Leepak out of Hartford, Wisconsin. Oh, we got a jumper. It is the 24 of Jordan Sobetsky, the 19-year-old rider out of Bozizier. He is the 2021 Pro Formula 500 champion, rides dirt bikes and races go-karts for fun. Sponsored by Sobetsky Enterprises, DC Accounting, Edge Equipment, Sun and Snow, and Big Smoke Barbecue, along with Oak Bank Auto Body and Auto Stripe. Race three on your program, Pro Champ 440 USSA Pro Star Cup. Round one, heat number two, after we just watched the Wall Brothers Racing 102 of Blaine Stevenson dominate the first Pro Champ race of the day. Race four on your schedule coming up next will be yet another Pro Champ 440 race. So, lots of great action set to come your way early here at Co-op Community Complex for FXR. Whoa. Rider down in turn number one and two. Looked like Gunnar Stern with a real, real good start there into turn one. Looks like our safety crew is heading over to turn one and two, and we were told on the radio that Ryder is okay. So we'll get you an update just as soon as we can from turn one and two, and obviously we're going to have to restart this third race. We have a total of 49 on the schedule here. Special thanks, of course, to FXR, Beaver Truck Center, and Bozizier Co-op, along with Bozizier GM. Don't forget, throughout the day, to visit the Moose Den. That is the Moosehead Beer Garden. Also, the kids can check out our Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone. If you want to take a walk through the pits, there is a booth. Paid admission into the pits. That is the Cobra Construction Pit area, now known as the Cobra Pit. So the riders here in our third race of the day going to head on over to their mechanics in turn number two to look things over as we clean up the sled in turn number one and two. All right, the 31 involved in turn number one and two is Will Garceau out of Wisconsin. And that sled already, that number 31, on the recovery sled. So restart coming here very soon. All right, riders over in turn number four now. And we're going to get set to go here momentarily with race number three, resuming race number three. All right, signal has been given for the return to the starting line. All right, Riley Baker getting him set up.
Race three resuming here momentarily, and here we go, a great start for Chiani Gunners third out of West Chicago, Illinois. Inside a turn, number one and two. Great handling sled through the first corner and down the back straightaway. Nice ride so far for the number one of Griffin Leepak out of Hartford, Wisconsin. 2022 Articat chassis as they sort themselves out down the back straightaway. Great racing, second through fifth here. We've got some movement, but right now, the 220 of G-Money, Gutter Stern, is moving along great. The 11 moving up to the second spot. Fred Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin on the Wall Brothers Racing chassis. Sharp looking sled, white and purple. That thing looks great in the pit area. I had a chance to check that sled out yesterday afternoon here at the co-op community complex and what a good looking machine there in second spot. This is race number three on your schedule. USSA Pro Star Cup, Pro Champ. Round one, heat number two. White flag being displayed for your race leader. Out of West Chicago, Illinois, the Red Bull Skidoo. Good battle into turn three and four. Your leader coming out of four now. And the Red Bull Skidoo, number 220, will take checkers in that one. The 11. And it looks like the 21. Unofficially third. That number 21, of course, Tyler Obi out of Beauxjour, Manitoba on an 18 Skidoo. Pretty good racing there in race number three. Pro Champ 440, USSA Pro Star Cup action. We've got one more of those to do here in race number four. This will be round one, heat three for five laps. And riding the number 75 in this one will be Calvin Cook out of Dayton, Minnesota. That is a Wall Brothers Racing chassis. Good to have Calvin Cook back. Good looking machine out of Dayton, Minnesota. Also races go-karts. Former Sprint 1 and 2 competitor sponsored by Polaris, FXR, Wall Brothers, MTH, and Power Lodge. The 87 is going to be Madison Phillips out of Drayton, North Dakota. Riding the 15, this is Hunter Sears out of St. Francis, Minnesota. The 28 is going to be Matt Gady out of New Germany, Minnesota. Good to have Matt back here. Heck of a good competitor on the USSA Pro Star Cup. 54 is going to be Calvin Peterson. Calvin Peterson on the number 54. Out of Eden, Wisconsin, a 16-year-old rider sponsored by Skidoo, Pier Technical, Tennyson & Associates, and Woodies. 370 is a local rider out of Cooks Creek, Manitoba. Matt Zalai is on the 370. The 8, Travis McDonald out of Goner, Manitoba. And the 39X is going to be Justin Peterson out of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. Travis McDonald on the number 8. Former Valcourt winner, third at Wausau in the Pro Star Cup this year. He has won several Saturdays and Sundays here, except the big one on the Sunday, so he'll be looking for that big win here at the 61st Canadian Power Toboggan Championship. Former go-kart racer is Travis McDonald, sponsored by Serve Pro Skidoo and FXR, along with Bennett's Marine, Ryback's Custom Machine, and Deco. Good start for the 28. We are racing into turn number one and two. But the 28 dropping to about the third spot. But all kinds of action now. Side by side down the back straightaway. Look at these horses run. They are getting pretty cozy in turn three and four. What a race so far on our fourth race of the day on your schedule. Pro Star Cup heat race action.
39 and the 28 in the top two here. As they begin to string out down the back straightaway. Tension in the pit area. The next race up will be Pro Formula 500. The next three races, in fact, will be Pro Formula 500. So if you're in that class, check your lineup sheets and be at the staging area on time, please. White flag for the 39X, Justin Peterson. Matt Gady out of New Germany, Minnesota on the skidoo, looking pretty strong in that second spot. Just a reminder to everyone around the trackside parking area to please keep your headlights off throughout the day. And that's it, the 39 will take the win, followed by the 28 and the eight of McDonald. 54 will be unofficially fourth. That is Calvin Peterson. So Justin Peterson, your unofficial winner in race four. Justin Peterson on the 39X out of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. Calvin Peterson fourth. They are not brothers. They are actually cousins. Part of the Peterson Racing Team, but cousins, not brothers. All right, we are live on the CPTC YouTube channel, cooldown.tv, bringing you all the action and doing a great job of it. Chris down on the podium, Anthony up in the tower. All right, we're looking at race number five now, Pro Formula 500. This will be round one, heat one for five laps. The 111 Dave Blair, there's two number 111s in this race, but the 111 Dave Blair out of Owen Sound is a scratch. So here's who's lining up. The 113 is Kendra Westland out of Strathcona, Minnesota. The 111 is Tanner Foss. Tanner is from Middle River, Minnesota. 34X is Kale Bello out of Wisconsin. The 95, Jerry LePage. 41. And the 15 is Kyle Omachinski out of Bozizier, Manitoba on a 1989 Polaris. Pro Formula 500, round one, heat one, race five on your schedule. I'll get to that. All right, the action here in race number five down the back straightaway. Tension in the pit area, race number six, Pro Formula 500, round one, heat two should be ready. Followed by race seven, Pro Formula 500, round one, heat three. One thirteen, one eleven, and the 95 are your top three. Kendra Westland is on the 113, the 111 is Tanner Foss. 95, of course, Jerry LePage out of Murillo, Ontario. Green flag being displayed for the 113. Not much changing in the top three. 15 is fourth. That is Kyle Omachinski out of Beauxjeux, Manitoba, a 1989 Polaris mounted rider in the fourth spot unofficially. This time around, the white flag will be displayed, indicating just one more lap to go in this five lap contest. Kendra Westland followed by the 111 of Tanner Foss and the 95, then the 15. Kale Bello on the 34X out of Wisconsin. That is an 89 Polaris. 
As we look to our leaders in turn three and four now, the checkered flag will be displayed this time around. And it's going to go to the 113 of Kendra Westland, followed by the 111, Tanner Foss, and the 95, Jerry LePage. 15 comes across fourth, Kyle Lomachinski. Pretty good run for Kendra Westland out of Strathcona, Minnesota on the 1992 Polaris. Race six coming up next, more Pro Formula 500, round one, heat two. Right, here's your lineup in race number six, Pro Formula 500. Before we go through the lineup, we'd like to thank Cobra Enterprises, Travel Manitoba, Moosehead, Access Credit Union, Bozer's Your Home Hardware, Sobetsky Enterprises, West Side Power Sports, Town of Bozer's and the RM of Brokenhead. All right, race six, here we go. Just getting some information here as we go. The 22A is Colton Abraham out of Wisconsin. The 135 will be Blair McDonald. The nine, Stefan Kerrigan out of Winnipeg. Riding the 33C out of Thunder Bay is Mike Schultz. Mike Shackelford's on the 446. 54 is gonna be Tom Kuback out of Bozizier. And the 580 is Caroline Allard out of Roseau, Minnesota. All right, lap one, nearing completion here as we race in six on the day. Race six, Pro Formula 500, round one, heat number two. Hey, we want to do a quick shout out to our technical director here at CPTC, Jeremy Einerson. Jeremy is with Jessica in the hospital and they are having a baby. So best of luck, Jeremy and Jessica. Hope you're enjoying the races so far. And hurry back to the track, we need you. Tension in the pit area, race number seven coming up next. More Pro Formula 500 racing. Then we'll move to race eight, Pro Mod 340 Liquid. Super Mod 340 Liquid, that'll be a combo race. And then race nine, Sportsman 600s. Then we move to the Outlaws. Mike Shackelford is your leader in this one out of Oakville, Manitoba. Mike is aboard a 1990 Polaris. White flag going to be coming out next lap. And that will be very soon for that number 446 out of Oakville. Setting a torrid pace out there and a huge lead, almost a straightaway. The 22A is in the second spot. That is Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin. Stefan Kerrigan riding his skidoo number nine in the third spot. Kerrigan has a shot going into turn three and four here. Your leader already coming out of turn four. Shackelford's going to win it on the 4-4-6. Here's the race for second spot. It's going to be the 22A followed by the 9. The 22A taking second. Colton Abraham, Kerrigan will finish unofficially third here in race 6 on the day. Pro Formula 500, round 1, heat number 2.
All right, race number seven. Look at that sled on the inside. That thing is awesome. It's out of Bluffton, Alberta. The 22W will be Warren Leba on the Napa sponsored 22W. That is a 1990 Polaris underneath all that cool looking bodywork. The 96 is going to be Bruce Rosentreader out of Whitemouth. 34 is Colton Neewalney out of Medford, Wisconsin. Riding the 13 is Dale Hunter. The 17 will be Jared Sackvey out of Bozager. And Hanna Westland is out of Strathcona, Minnesota. Riding the 113. This is race number seven on your schedule. Pro Formula 500s on the track for the third time in a row. Not the same riders, but the same class, of course. Four is your leader. That's Colton Newalney out of Medford, Wisconsin. Warren Leba on the 22W. Looking for the lead as well. Rosen Treader is on the 96. Well, if you're tuned in on the internet to our YouTube channel here at CPTC, we'd like to welcome you. Should be some great racing. The weather here is ideal in Manitoba. I think it's about minus three or four right now, somewhere in there. And so the ice should remain pretty good throughout the day. The sun is not too intense. It's really only intense here in Manitoba one day a year, like in the middle of July, and then it kind of gets cold again, I think. I've lived here long enough to know that. 34 and the 22W continue to dominate with Rosen Treader in the third spot. Good battle, the 17 and the 13. Jared Sackvey is out of Bozeger, the 13. Dale Hunter out of Themsford, Ontario. Here comes the 22W on the outside. Colton Newaldi has some company now as they battle down the back straightaway on the white flag lap. Race number seven here, and it is a great one. There's the battle in turn three and four. Checkered flag is in the hands of Riley Baker. And it looks like the 34 is going to hold on. Nice ride by Colton Newaldi under pressure from Warren Leba. Rosen Treader on the 96. Out of white mouth, the 17 fourth, that's Sackley. Dale Hunter out of Ontario, unofficially fifth. What a great race. That Pro Formula 500 class, one of the best classes to watch here on the big half mile oval. They really get along, they really move, and are really competitive. It's always good to see side by side racing. Or side by each, you're right, Anthony. Side by side, side by each. Race eight now, already. Pro Mod 340 Liquid, Super Mod 340 Liquid combo final for five laps. The 44 is gonna be Vic Mazur out of West St. Paul on a good looking 73 Polaris. Riding the 1975 Mercury, number 509. This is Albert Raddy out of Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. The 165 is Justin Habing out of Manitoba. The 65, the veteran out of Enola, Manitoba is Norm Chura. 727 is Marcus Iverson out of Langdon, North Dakota. Marcus is riding a 1975 Arctic Cat. The 478 is Kevin Fleming out of Sycamus, BC. I've been there, that's a great place. That's the houseboat capital. Kevin Fleming out of Sycamus, BC on a 73 Skidoo. Sled number is 478. And the 16C is Bob Schultz out of Thunder Bay, Ontario. All right, looks like we're ready to race. And we're 
going. Here we go. Good start for the number 44. Vic Mazur out of West St. Paul, Manitoba, is moving along nicely in turn one and two and extending his hole shot on the rest of the field. Tension in the pit area. Race nine will be Sportsman 600s. You are up next. Please be in staging, followed by the Outlaw 600 class. Sixty-five in the seven twenty-seven second and third. Norm Chura on the sixty-five and Marcus Iverson of Langdon riding that nineteen seventy-five Articat, the seven twenty-seven in the third spot. And that seven twenty-seven now has a run on the inside into turn number three. What a great race! But so far here in race eight on the day, it is all Vic Mazur. Kevin Fleming out of Sycamus, BC, currently fourth. And closing up some gap, and now we've got some problems. We've got a red flag. Incident in turn one and two. Yeah, I can see some bales that have been moved. So our safety crew, who are some of the best in the business here in Beaujolais, are looking after the situation in turn one and two right now, but so far a dominant performance by the number 44. That is none other than Vic Mazur out of West St. Paul. Well, it is our final day, our final race of the year in the USSA Pro Star Cup. Blaine Stevenson on the 102 is your current leader in the Pro Champ 440 USSA Pro Star Cup. And the USSA has some great sponsors, including Advanced Compressor Technology. The greater Chicagoland area is lucky to have a great company like Advanced Compressor Technology in its backyard. Offering state-of-the-art service to the modern manufacturing world, ACT keeps the production world moving in Illinois and is a new sponsor for USSA in 22-23. So thanks to Advanced Compressor Technology. We will, of course, hand out the trophy later on after, I guess, race 49 will be the USSA Pro Star Cup race. So we'll crown a champion for the day here, the feature winner, we'll call it, and then we will also present the trophy for the USSA Pro Star Cup. And I believe, I believe, I'm almost positive that Blaine Stevenson on the 102 will be the champion. Now, can he win the race? Well, he's won four this year. Polaris Racing, also a big part of the USSA Pro Star Cup. Polaris Snowmobiles is where they specialize in all things involved with Polaris. Polaris Engineering keep Polaris up front at the track as well as deep in the wild. All right, getting set to go once again. Race 8, Pro Mod 340 Liquids and Super Mod 340 Liquids. Once again, many thanks to Cool Down TV for bringing you the action on the web. Still called the web, isn't it? Yep. The World Wide Web. That's right. Triple W. All right, Riley looking him over in the green flag. The wins once again. Vic Mazer on the 44, followed by Chura in the second spot. A pair of Polarises in the Pro Mod 340, Super Mod 340 Liquid Combo Final. You need a pop filter when you do your peas on a microphone. I don't have one, so. If there's excessive pops, well. Well, it is my problem. I should have brought my pop filter. Good action up front here in race number eight on your schedule of 49 on the day. Brought to you by FXR here at Co-op Community Complex. 
Don't forget the Moose Den open all day as we get the white flag here now. Mazer and Chura. 509 Ratty. Running along quite nicely as well. Leaders over in turn number three and four and coming out of four now, checkered flag is in the air. Looks like Chura gets by the 44 of Mazer. 509 is Ratty, the 478 is out of Sycamus. That is Kevin Fleming in the top five. 165 crossing the line, Justin Habing out of Navin, Manitoba, that is a 73 Polaris. That'll do it for race eight on the schedule. Pro Mod 340 Liquid and Super Mod 340 Liquid Combo Final. So that should do it for them for the day. Next up, race number nine, Sportsman 600s. This will be round one for five laps. And here they come already. They are moving things along quickly here at the Co-op Community Complex. A great production crew here. I work at a lot of racetracks in dirt track, motocross, snowcross, and this is one of the best, I'll tell you. These guys do a fantastic job here at Co-op Community Complex. They have a good vision for running races quickly and on time, and if more motorsports organizations did that, motorsports would be bigger, I always say that. Race nine, Sportsman 600s. The 16 is DJ Saluka out of Bozizer. The 179 is Jason Mackey out of Lanigan, Saskatchewan. 15 is Kyle Omachinski. The three is Scott Wagner. Riding the number 13 is John Hall out of Bozizer. The 34X is Kale Bellow out of Wisconsin. 23 is Will Manchalenko from St. Malo, Manitoba. And riding the 41, this is gonna be Austin Madison out of Badger, Minnesota. Sportsman 600, round one for five laps and a good strong field. Riley looks him over and a good start for the number 15. Kyle Omachinski out of Bozizer gets a good jump off the line as they sort themselves out in turn one and two. Heading through turn three and four now. Don't forget the Outlaw 600s are up next. Outlaw 600s up next, so you need to be in staging. Well, your leader right now is DJ Saluk. 15 is Kyle Omachinski in the second spot. DJ Saluk having a great ride so far here in race nine on the schedule. Sportsman 600 class is on track. Scott Wagner third, the 23 fourth, that is Will Manchalenko. Those riders pulling away from the rest of the field here. White flag, four down, one to go in your Sportsman 600 round one race. 16 and 15 in the top two. 323 remains the same in the top four. Quite a bit of distance now between one and two. In turn three and four. Checkered flag is out. It's going to go to Saluk on the 16. Omachinski will be second. That'll be the three and the 23 in the top four. That is the end of the Sportsman 600 race, round one. Austin Madison out of Badger, Minnesota on the number 41 coming across the line. 
Sportsman 600, round one in the books. Next, we move to the Outlaw 600s. All right, if you haven't seen these things before, they are pretty cool. Now, these things were developed in the United States about 12 years ago. They were tested out there, but their first official race was actually right here in Beausager. These are 600cc outlaws. They have a sprint car style. If you've ever seen dirt track sprint car racing, well, a very similar type of a roll cage. They are 600cc engine. They do allow pipes. They make about 130 horsepower. Weight-wise, well, they need to be 875 with driver. And next December, they will be part of the Pro Star Cup. So mandatory Pro Star Cup racing here next December. If you want to compete on the Outlaw 600 Tour and you want to compete for points, next December right here at CPTC, these riders or drivers will be back. 71N is Donnie Neubauer. The 06 is Joe Schneider out of St. Germain. The 18 is Tim Gebhardt. The 14, Jacob Gebhardt. Riding the 19 is Chris Plasky. And the 84 is Nathan Gebhardt. Well, of six competitors here on my lineup sheets, five are from St. Germain. Outlaw 600s on the track here for the first time this weekend. Looks like the leader packed it in. Donnie Neubauer leads Chris Plasky out of St. Germain, Wisconsin. Good battle side by side down the back straightaway and into turn number three. Tim Gebhardt a little off the pace on the number 18. That 71 is flying, wow. Donnie Neubauer out of Westboro, Wisconsin. The only guy that's not in St. Germain, rather. See, it seems to me that if you live in Westboro, you can kind of have your own deal going. If you live in St. Germain like everyone else, well, maybe they're all doing the same thing, I'm not sure. But the guy from Westboro, Wisconsin, certainly has it figured out. Engines on the right side of the chassis on these Outlaw 600s. You could go to outlaw600.com for more information, but they will be back next December for a USSA Pro Star Point Series race. I would think these things would be a little bit safer than the open cockpit type sleds. They have a roll cage and a full containment seat. Checkered flag, the 71 is gonna take it. Followed by the 19 and the 14. Chris Plasky on the 19, or in the 19, the 14, Jacob Gebhardt out of St. Germain, Wisconsin. That was your Outlaw 600 class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you check your programs, it is time for a Cubex intermission grooming break. So we're going to do that right now, put on some music, and we will be back with more action. Race 11 coming up after intermission will be the Junior 2 F500 class for 14 to 17 year olds. Then we'll get back into some Pro Champ racing. Three in a row in fact, round two, heat number one, two and three. So right now head on over to the Moose Den, check out the full line of CPTC promo gear. We've got some great looking t-shirts, hats, sweatshirts, do check it out. Grab yourself a nice cold moose head and we'll be back with you momentarily right here in Beausager.
Full service at your local co-op means extra service at no extra cost. We'll fill your tank, clean your windshield, and get you on your way. And full service is part of why co-ops are able to provide good jobs to more than 25,000 Western Canadians. Whether it's rainy in Victoria, sunny in Regina, cold in Edmonton, or even colder in Winnipeg, full service, it's a co-op thing. Whether investing in your child's future, planning your dream retirement, or saving for a vacation in between, Access Credit Union has the right investment solution for every stage in your life. Open an investment online in minutes and get sound advice tailored to your needs. As members ourselves, you'll feel comfort in knowing we have your best interest at heart. Access Credit Union, invest in you. Beaver Truck Center, Manitoba's Volvo truck and Hino truck dealer, serving our customers in Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario since 1996. With two locations, Winnipeg and Brandon, to serve your trucking requirements. Specializing in sales, parts, service, leasing and rentals. For more information, please visit us at www.beavertrucks.com.
All right, so the number 21 will be Andrew Brandt out of Dryden, Ontario. Riding the 44 is Ethan Clark from Beausagir. The number 44 is Marilee Peterson from Lancaster, also out of Lancaster, Minnesota. The 434 is Miranda Peterson. The 113 is Hannah Cook from Dayton, Minnesota. The 23 is Dylan Fox out of Balmoral. And the 22A is Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin. That is your lineup for race 11 right here for FXR. Hope you enjoyed the Moose Den. Checked out the full line of CPTC promo wear. Riley is in a t-shirt now. It must be balmy down there. Racing on your schedule, race 11, Junior 2 F500 class, heading into turn three and four. Tension in the pit area, race 12, 13, and 14. The next three races, all Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup races. The 23 is leading this one right now. That is Dylan Fox out of Balmoral, Manitoba. A 1989 Polaris show on the way with, oh, I think we've got somebody down in turn one and two. No, it is turn four. I saw the hands go up in turn one and two. We have a crash. Looks like in turn four. Or just to sled off the racetrack. We'll get you that info as soon as we can. But I see all the hands went up. That is the 21 over in turn number four. All right, thank you. So that is Andrew Brandt out of Dryden, Ontario on a 1991 Polaris. Bringing out the red flag in race number 11, the Junior 2 F500 class. You can check out your cooldown.tv race replay. Many thanks to Cooldown.tv on the CPTC YouTube channel. They do a great job bringing you the videos. That is a great view on Cooldown.tv. We have a monitor up here and shows the sheer size of this half mile track. It is huge, wow. Andrew Brandt ran in Kenora in that enduro race, huh? That is pretty cool. Andrew Brandt is out of Dryden, Ontario on the number 21. And that sled is stopped. And there is our recovery team, Johnny, on the spot. Sounds to me, on the radio, we're going to go with a complete restart. Don't think we got quite a lap in as the number 21 gets a handoff. That is Andrew Brandt. Yeah, I don't think it was a crash, just kind of rolled to a stop, we're told, so. Or slid to a stop? What is a slid? They don't roll, cars roll. Anyway, it stopped. It was moving and it stopped. It had motion and then had no motion. Yes, they barrel roll. Sleds do barrel roll, we know that. All right, working on race number 11, Junior 2 F500 class, and we will go to a complete restart here momentarily. It is USSA Pro Champ Day here, all part of the Pro Star Cup. We will crown a champion of the point series, also a champion of today's race day over in race 49, which is a way away, but it will be here eventually. Competitors over in turn four awaiting the signal from Riley Baker, our starter here at Co-op Community Complex and the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. You'll see a little bit of action in the Jerry Bunky Memorial Challenge here today. We'll tell you more about that as the day goes on. Right, Riley looks them over. We're gonna try this again. Great start for the 23 and the 434. That is Miranda Peterson on the 434. The 23 is Dylan Fox out of Balmoral. Mm. 
Once again, a reminder in the pits, three heats of pro champs coming up next. As the 23, Dylan Fox in the number one spot. The 22A is Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin. On the throttle and looking good. On the bright blue 22A. 113 will be a lapper. Hannah Cook out of Dayton, Minnesota. As your leaders come around and enter turn number one, that is the 23 of Dylan Fox. Third spot is the 434, Miranda Peterson. Ethan Clark out of Bozier, Manitoba. On the 44 in the top five. Green flag still being displayed on the front chute. This weekend brought to you by FXR. We would like to thank all the fine folks over there. Top three remains the same. One of the 44s is Ethan Clark out of Bozizier. The other 44 is Marilee Peterson out of Lancaster. White flag being displayed for the 23 of Dylan Fox. Colton Abraham out of Wausau, second, third, Miranda Peterson on the 4-3-4. Four, four. And that'll do it. The 23 will take the win unofficially. Dylan Fox out of Balmoral, Manitoba, second to the 22A of Colton Abraham. Miranda Peterson unofficially third in race 11. And Marilee Peterson out of Lancaster on a number 44, as is Ethan Clark out of 44 out of Bozier. But we believe that is Marilee Peterson unofficially fourth there. Of course, you can check out the official results on cooldown.tv as they are available. Next up will be race number 12, Pro Champs coming your way, and we will bring you that lineup momentarily. Well, we've got the lineup for race 12. Let's do it. Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup round two, heat number one for five laps. And here's how it looks. Out of Bozizier, Manitoba, the number 21 will be Tyler Obi. The number three is Danique Lambert out of Sorel Tracy, Quebec, sponsored by Skelton Truck Lines. Fourth in Eganville both days this year on the Weatherill Racing Entry. The 370 will be Matt Zalai out of Cooks Creek, Manitoba. The 220 is G Money Gunner Stern. The Red Bull Skidoo will be in this one. The 11 is Fred Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin on a wall chassis. Riding the number eight, Travis McDonald out of Lockport, Manitoba. 2020 Skidoo mounted rider. The 16, DJ Saluk out of Bozizier will ride in this one, as will the Wall Brothers Racing FXR 39 of Tom Olson. Tom is out of Lodi, Wisconsin. The Wall Brothers Racing Camp comes from Greenbush, Minnesota. And his teammate, 102 Blaine Stevenson, is leading the USSA Pro Star Cup Tour points. Tom Olson looking good in the first heat race in the Pro Champ 440 class earlier here today. So our premier class now coming to the racetrack as we get set to go. Tom Olson on the Wall Brothers Racing 39, sponsored by FXR, Polaris Woodies and Walker Evans. Currently third in USSA points. 2020 Eganville winner. Won Wausau in, or rather on Sunday this year. Very competitive racer, the number 39 as we get set to go with race 12 on your schedule. Pro Champ 440 USSA Pro Star Cup. This is round two, heat one for five circuits. And we are racing. The 39. 
time in the 220 go side by side into turn one and two, the 39 on the low side. That is the Wall Brothers entry. And has some speed into turn three and four, but the 220 right there and looking for a mistake. Great battle here in race 12, Pro Champ 440s. G Money Gunner Stern out of West Chicago, Illinois, a very good competitor. And he knows his way around the big half mile oval. Travis McDonald all over the 39 and inside. The rider out of Lockport, Manitoba, challenging the Wall Brothers. 39 on the inside of the back straightaway. What a race for second, third, and fourth here in race number 12 of the day. Rider with his hand up in turn one and two through the snow dust. And that rider will retire to the pit area. As your leader comes out of turn number four, white flag being displayed for none other than the Red Bull Skidoo of Gunnar Stern. And he came there in the 21, second and third. 21, Tyler Obi out of Beauxjour, Manitoba, having a good weekend here so far. Checkered flag for Gunnar Stern on the 220. Danny Lambert, Obi, and the 39 of Olsen, followed by Zalai on the 370, your unofficial top five in race 12. There is DJ Saluk on the 16, that is a local Bolzinger rider. Had a good conversation with DJ Saluk in the pit area yesterday. They've been chasing a lot of things on that sled this year trying their very, very best to get everything in order and trying to find some speed here at Bozizier. They were going to do some traveling on the USSA Pro Star Cup Tour, but they wanted to get things together in Bozizier, did some testing, and just couldn't get things quite right. So that was the goal of the weekend for the 16 team of DJ Saluk to just get stuff together and running pretty strong here for this final weekend of the 2023 season. All right, so we are back with race 13. More Pro Champ racing. And we're going to bring you the lineup right now. The number one is going to be Griffin Leepak out of Hartford, Wisconsin. The 54 is Calvin Peterson. Riding the 87 is Madison Phillips out of Drayton, North Dakota. 2020 Johnson Racing Chassis. Riding the 28 is Matt Gady out of New Germany, Minnesota. The 91 is a local rider. This is Sam Glur on that 91 out of Bozischer. The 24, Jordan Sobetsky, sponsored by Sobetsky Enterprises, riding a 2022 Polaris. 102, the current points leader is Blaine Stevenson on the Wall Brothers Racing. Number 102 out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, and the 39X, Justin Peterson out of Campbell Sport, Wisconsin. There's a lot of jumping going on. All right, we're gonna try this again. Race number 13, Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup, round two, heat two. Some fast riders in this one. Taking their time getting back to the starting line. First back is the one of Griffin Leepak out of Hartford, Wisconsin. There's the 87, that is Madison Phillips. 28, Matt Gady, real good competitor. Sobetsky, 
on the 24. Stevenson on the 102. There's the 54 of Calvin Peterson. Looks like the 91 of Sam Brewer will start in the back, and we're racing once again. Thirty nine X of Justin Peterson looking awful good here early in this one as the Pro Champ four forty speed into turn three and four. There is action all over the racetrack. Gady and Stevenson second and third right now. Sam Glure started in the second row on the 91, the local rider, and try to catch up to the rest of the pack now. 39X, 28, and 102, your top three right now. And that is a close race in the top three, no doubt about that. Racing 102 in the third spot, but wants second badly. We do believe he has already wrapped up the USSA Pro Star Cup Championship for the year. Points wise, Matt Gady looks behind him and sees the 102 right there. Justin Peterson pretty sharp right now on the 39X. Checkered flag, that'll do it. Justin Peterson out of Campbellsport, Wisconsin, a 30-year-old rider, took second in Wausau this year, competed in the entire USSA Pro Star Cup Tour. He is sponsored by Skidoo, Studboy, Accelerated Technologies, and Lot off septic. And who is that? The 91. The 91 is stopped on the racetrack. Picked up by our expert camera crew at cooldown.tv. All right, so that was race number 13. We'll bring you the lineup momentarily in race number 14. Good time now to thank a couple of our sponsors that helped to make this excellent event possible each and every year. Special thanks going out to FXR, Beaver Truck Center, Bozier Co-op, Bozier GM, Cobra Enterprises, Travel Manitoba, Moosehead, Access Credit Union, Bozier Home Hardware, Sobetsky Enterprises, Westside Power Sports, the RM of Brokenhead, and the town of Bozier. Well, it looks like the 91 will get some help here. Sam Glure, tough race for him. Jumped early, started second row, and now obviously a mechanical issue on the 91. They will get that back and take a look in the heated trailer and see if they can get it going for the next one. Do I need a heated trailer? Oh, yeah, it is actually pretty nice. Like maybe they don't have the heat on, but I'm sure their trailer might be heated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I think we are rolling once again, and we are race 14, Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup, round two, heat number three. Riding the 15 is Hunter Sears out of St. Francis, Minnesota. The 157, well, this is John Henke. John Henke out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. Nice to have John along with us. Father-son team sponsored by Incredible Bank, last year in 2020. All right, we're gonna scratch the 31 of Will Garceau. Will Garceau will be a scratch. Russell Leba should be in this one, the number five. Quinn Whitechuck on the 26. 75, Calvin Cook will be out of Dayton, Minnesota. The 233, Matt Bennett is out of New London. 35 is Dylan Barron out of Anola. All right, getting set to go here. 
Dylan Barron with a pretty fancy paint scheme on the outside of the starting line. Was a scratch in the first one. And oh, we've got some jumpers. 157. Might be a part of that. We're going to try this again. Race 14 on your schedule. Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup. Attention in the pit area, race 15 has been reduced to three laps for your Supermod 300 free air liquid cooled final. There'll be four competitors in that one. We should have four competitors right now in staging. Then we'll move to race 16, our first IFS 440X race of the day. All part of the Jerry Bunky Memorial Cup. That'll be round one, of course, first race of the day for five laps. So you should work your way to staging as well as we get set to go here. Great start on the inside. Race 14 on the schedule, speeding down the back straight away and into turn three. That is Calvin Cook. Calvin Cook is out of Dayton, Minnesota. Good looking sled, wow, nicely prepared. Former Sprint one and two competitor sponsored by Polaris, FXR, Wall Brothers, MTH and Power Lodge. Dropping to second now is the 75. What a great race we've got going on here. You look at the top five, six, all of them very, very close to passing each other here. <laughs> 157, of course, is your leader. John Henke out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin, part of the father-son racing team. Great family effort leading the way here right now. Rider off to the outside. 233 is third. That's Matt Bennett out of New London, Wisconsin. Pass for the lead now out of two, and we've got somebody parked, I think, over in turn four. Yes, we do. At the exit of turn four, hopefully out of harm's way as they come through turn four. Now your leader's doing down the long front straightaway. Checkered flag is out. It's gonna go to the 75. Nice job by Calvin Cook. Picking the pocket of the 157 of John Hankey. Wow, that was a good race. Excellent race in race 14 on your schedule. Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup. Round two, heat three is in the books and it finishes with a bang, wow. Believe that could be the 26 of Quinn Whitechuck out of Beausager over there. It is the 26, all right. There's some smoke emitting from the hood of that particular 26, so hopefully they can get that fixed up and go on for the next heat race. Wanna thank everybody that has attended here. 61st running of the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. Of course, we will run our USSA Pro Star Cup final. And of course, we will crown the points champion, which I think is pretty much in the books now for Blaine Stevenson on the 102. But this 61st running takes a lot of effort, a lot of sponsors and great volunteers, as you can see on cooldown.tv and our CPTC YouTube channel that our crews work real hard. There's over 4,000 bales around this half mile racetrack and that takes an awful, awful lot of work. I do not bail them, and when the heavy lifting starts, I'm out of here. This microphone is plenty heavy. That's about enough. All right, so we are looking at a reduced race 15 from four laps to three laps, and here they come. 
Kieran Lowen will be on the 13, the 165. Should be Justin Habing out of Navin, Manitoba. The 65, Norm Chur, and the 57 will be Ken Bruce out of St. Anne, Manitoba. Now this is the Supermod 300 free air and liquid cooled final. Just three laps because there are just four riders. And our starter, Riley, confirming the three lap change. Next up, Jerry Bunky Cup round one, then Pro Formula three round one. Then the ice bikes, we will go to two wheels here. That is gonna be awesome. Getting set to go, and we are racing. Now we got a 165 and a 65 in the race. The 65 is Norm Chura. The 165 is Justin Habing. They're both 73 Polarises, so we're going to have to look close to see which one is the 165 and which one is the 65. That is the 65, Norm Chura. 165, then the 57. That is Ken Bruce, and the 13, Kieran Lowen. Once again, next up for race number 16, the IFS 440X Jerry Bunky Cup. And Norm Chura will take that one going away on the number 65. Norm Chur out of Enola, Manitoba on the 73. Polaris takes the win. Justin Habing on the 165 will come second. Third, Kieran Lowen on the number 13. That's a 75 Yamaha. And we've got someone broken. 57 of Ken Bruce, I think. Almost positive the 57, Ken Bruce out of St. Anne on the 73. Yamaha sitting at the outside exit of turn number four, part way down the front straightaway. So we will get our safety crew out here once again, or our recovery crew, and move on to race 16 on your schedule, which will be the IFS 440X Jerry Bunky Cup. We'll bring you that lineup here in just a couple of minutes. All right, we can roll through the lineup here quickly in race number 16, your first Jerry Bunky Cup qualifier, round one, five laps. Russ Liebel will be on the number five out of Warburg, Alberta. This is a 1982 moto ski. Riding a 79 Skidoo, the 21 will be Tyler Obi out of Beausager. Also out of Beausager, the 71 will be Ryan Gibson on a 79 Skidoo. Joe Presta is out of Ladywood, Manitoba. On a 79 Skidoo, and the 13 will be Dale Hunter out of Ontario on a moto ski. So that is Ken Bruce on the number 57 heading back. He was part of that Supermod 300 free air and liquid cooled final. Race 16 coming up, IFS 440X Jerry Bunky Cup. Quite the race coming up here. One of our qualifiers for the Jerry Bunky Memorial Challenge. Of course, Jerry Bunky was a member of the famed Polaris Midnight Blue Express race team that competed in the Snow Pro Circuit in the late 1970s. 
Jerry tragically lost his life in a racing accident in Beaujolais in 1978. So, to honor the dedication, perseverance, and professionalism that Jerry displayed during his racing career, we at CPTC are pleased to present the annual Jerry Bunky Memorial Challenge, and this is the first round of the weekend. Russ Lieba out of Warburg, Alberta on the number five was last year's winner. And that number five is back. These are pretty quick sleds, IFS 440X class. Good clean start so far as they head on out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Race 16 on your schedule, IFS 440X, Jerry Bunky Cup qualifier race. This is anybody's race now. Great battle for second and third and fourth as your leader comes out of turn four now. They are racing for keeps here. That is the five and the eight is up front. Of course, the number five last year's winner, Russ Leba, the 80 Joel Presta out of Ladywood, Manitoba, first and second. What a competitive race. Great action in first and second, and similar in third and fourth place. Ryan Gibson on the seven or 71 as it is on our list. This race scheduled for five laps. Side action, look at Preston now, Leba on the inside, wow! What a pass! This is the white flag lap here in our first Jerry Bunky Memorial race and it is a fantastic one. Checkered flag is up, it's gonna be Leba, Presta, Obi, and the 71 of Gibson in the top four, wow! That is fantastic stuff. Dale Hunter on the 13, unofficially finishing fifth, but what a race up front between a pair of real good competitors, and that might have been the best finish of the day so far, but I'm sure we'll see plenty more with 49 races on the schedule here today. Race 17, Pro Formula 3, round one for five laps, coming up next. <laughs> All right, Pro Formula 3 is coming up. Many of these riders, of course, complete, or compete rather in the Pro Champ class. This is the World Championship class at Eagle River, the Pro Formula 3s. Gunnar Stern, G Money out of West Chicago, Illinois, will start this one on the number 220. Blaine Stevenson will be on the Wall Brothers Racing 102. Blaine is out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, and the current USSA points leader in the Pro Champ class. The 28 is Matt Gady out of New Germany. 75, Calvin Cook out of Dayton. The 39 is Tom Olson out of Greenbush, Minnesota. Of course, Tom lives in Lodi, Wisconsin, but the Wall Brothers racing team out of Greenbush, Minnesota. And Tom is on a 20, 22 FXR Polaris. And the 157, John Hankey is out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin on a 2023 20, Skidoo. All right, the World Championship class at Eagle River is on track here in Bozizer. These are based more on a stock type, snow cross type sled. They are allowed modifications, of course. As the 28, 
Matt Gady with a real good start. Matt Gady is out of New Germany, Minnesota, riding a 2023 Skidoo. Couple of rules I was talking about with the competitors. These sleds are good for three years. They must be three years current. And they must be passed on. Blaine Stevenson on the 102 is in the second spot. Wall Brothers Racing FXR entry. Riley Baker with the green flag in hand. Baby and Stevenson. Right now, the 28 looking awful strong. Hanky on the 157 into turn number one. He is third. Calvin Cook is out of Dayton, Minnesota on the 75. And currently fourth, that is a bright blue 75 in turn three. White flag is out for your race leader, Matt Gady. Stevenson trying to catch up as is Hanky and Cook. Tom Olson on the 39, Wall Brothers Racing entry. And they're coming to the checkered flag right now. And oh, oh Stevenson's gonna win it. Looks like the 28 with a bobble or a mechanical problem. Tough break for the 28 of Gady, who led the entire race by quite a bit. Well, we'll try to get your report from the pit area on the situation with that 28 who dominated, but at the end of it, the 102 led the most important lap and took the unofficial victory in that Pro Formula 3 round one five lapper. Next up, ice bikes. We're switching to two wheels here right away, right here at the Co-op Community Complex for FXR. All right. Ice bike open, round one for five laps. High horsepower, four stroke and two stroke motocross bike set to hit the track. They have studded tires, of course. You'll see the odd looking fender guards. That's of course to protect the riders in a crash. The 489 is gonna be Avery Carr out of Bozager. The 14, keep your eyes on this rider on the Kawasaki. The 14 is out of Winnipeg. The rider is Ryan Rondeau. We're gonna scratch the Number 10, Larry Lage from Thunder Bay, Ontario. But the number 10 will be ridden now by Alex Torma out of Thunder Bay. So it's Alex Torma on the 10. Following along, the 219 is Caden Katowicz. The 18 is Hunter Brink. And the 866 is going to be William Shannon out of Anola, Manitoba on a KTM. So that is your lineup for race 18 on your schedule, which is the Ice Bike Open class. Number 10, a little late to the party. Alex Tomer. Ah, he only had 18 races to get ready. Four eighty-nine up front. That is Avery Carr battling with the 14 of Ryan Rondeau. That 14 is usually so, so smooth and is right now and have to look at him to take the lead here momentarily. He has done amazing things on this big half mile oval. And the 14 now has the lead. Ryan Rondeau passing car. Caden Katowicz is riding the 219. He's out of Petersfield, Manitoba. Looks like the only Honda in the field. Most of these are 450 CC singles. They are four strokes, as the motocross world is pretty much changed to nowadays. 
This race scheduled for five laps. Ryan Rondo on the 14, working the outside of turn four and carrying lots of speed. Haven't heard anything from our radar department just yet on the radio. We're gonna check into it at our next intermission, but usually these motorcycles run over 80 miles an hour. So they are quick on two wheels on ice. And Riley Baker has the checkered flag and it's gonna to go to the number 14 of Ryan Rondo. Second to car on the 489. And third unofficially, Caden Katolich. KTM coming across. Should be Alex Torma. And that'll do it for race 18, your ice bike open race. Looks like 19 and 20, and then we will go to a Quebec's intermission, so two more races. Want to tell the kids something real quick here. Of course, we have the Access Family Fun Zone, and after these next two races during the Quebec's intermission break, you can line up at the Family Fun Zone and get a ride in a handy van around the racetrack. There will be a racer in that handy van explaining how they go around the racetrack. So get on over to the Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone after race 20 and board the handy van as they sweep the track. Ooh, we got some relics here. I like these. All right, race 19. Relic Mod Superstock 300 fan cooled free air combo for three laps. The 13 is going to be Kieran Lowen out of Winnipeg. Riding the 179 is Jason Mackey from Lanigan, Saskatchewan. 13 is John Hall from Bozeger. The 501X, this is Blair Jaster out of Bozeger. Colin Demianic, a regular here at Bozeger on the 69 out of Winnipeg. And the 501 is Michael Kelly out of St. Genevieve. That is a 71 skidoo. After this, we'll do the ATV open and then a Cubex intermission break. the skis. That's serious horsepower from Jason Mackey out of Lanigan, Saskatchewan. 71 Articat flexing its muscles on the start. Well, it'd be nice to have our radar in position here. I'd just like to find out how fast they're going here in the relic class. and the 13 doing battle. Blair Jaster's on the 501 in third. Relic Mod Superstock. Fan cooled free air combo final. Taking the white flag, this one scheduled for just three laps, and this one is a final. Is that three laps, Anthony, or three years? Right. <laughs> oh, they're cool sleds. You don't always have to have the fastest sleds to have a great race. So this is race 19 on your schedule. Relic Mod Superstock 300 fan cooled free air combo. 179 will win that one. Jason Mackey followed by the 13 of Kieran Lowen. Nice looking number 13 of John Hall at a Bozeger will be third. That is a 1971 snow jet. And I think everybody else is gone. I think just three finishers in that one. There's a couple of sleds over in turn number three. So we'll need our recovery sled over there. Just listening to the radio here at CPTC there. 
Having a picnic over there in turn three, apparently. Attention in the pit area. Next up, race number 20. This will be our first look at the ATVs. ATV open class coming up. Round one for five laps. So here's the lineup. If you're listening in the pit area for the ATV open, you should be in staging already. 44 will be Ethan Clark out of Bozeger. From Steinbach, the 20 is Peter Friesen. wonder if he's freezing today. It's actually pretty warm. It is pretty nice. 71 is going to be Ryan Gibson out of Bozeger. The 29, Corey Johnson is from Oak Bank, Manitoba on a Yamaha. Tyler Feeblecorn will ride the number 13. The 14 will be Rob Clark out of Bozeger. And the 22 will be Mike Verbruge out of Garson, Manitoba. All right, so we'll bring you the ATV Open Racing Action momentarily right here at Co-op Community Complex. Once again, we want to thank all you great fans tuned in on the internet to Cooldown.tv and our CPTC YouTube channel. Also want to thank all the great fans here for attending live. Tomorrow we run our Canadian Power Toboggan Championships Championship Race. And that is going to be a good one, so make sure you're back here tomorrow. We have plenty of motorsports action all weekend long. Our starter, Riley Baker, looking for some sunscreen out there. Just heard that over the radio, Riley asked, can we get some sunscreen down here to the front straight away? And I'm like, well, if you're in a t-shirt in winter in Manitoba, I think the sun's already gotten to you. I think it might be a little too late. Here come the ATVs. Race 20. Don't forget we'll have the handy van over by your Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone after this race and the kids can jump in the handy van and take a lap around the racetrack or two. We will also have freestyle snowcross for you. Close start here in the ATV Open. This one's scheduled for five laps. This is the first time on track today. Saw them practice yesterday just a little bit. They look pretty cool, these things. Attention in the pit area following our intermission. We'll go to race 21, Junior 2 F500, 14 to 17 year olds. Then we'll move back into race 22, 23, and 24 Pro Champ 440 Pro Star races. Man, do we have a full card here today. Ryan Gibson on the 71 is out of Bozeshire, Manitoba. Racing here for second, third, and fourth. Fifth, sixth, and seventh strung out just a bit in turn one and two, but your leader already entering turn three. Waiting for no one. Tyler Feeblecorn is on the number 13 out of Bozeshire. That is a 2008 KTM according to our lineup sheets. White flag will come out, four down, one to go for your race leader this time around. Ryan Gibson on the Honda.
Mike Verberge on the 22 out of Garson. Unofficially third here in your first ATV Open race of the day. Leader real fast and real dominant in this one. It's going to be Gibson takes the checkers here. Tyler Feeblecorn out of Bozizer on the 13. There's the number 29. Corey Johnson will finish fourth out of Oak Bank, Manitoba. And that'll do it. Well, it's time for a Cubex intermission break, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, kids, you can get on over to the Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone. The handy van should be over there to pick you up and take you for a ride. We'll also have some freestyle snow, or rather freestyle... Yeah, freestyle, not freestyle snowcross. Well, freestyle snowcross, I guess, sure. We're going to have some snowcross racing as well, but that did not get enough entry, so we will go to some freestyle here momentarily right here. But first, online, we're going to bring you some commercials. At Co-op, we do things a little differently. Because we're not owned by big wigs in far away places. We're owned by our members. Ordinary people supporting local business. We provide local jobs, support local producers, and give back to local causes in our community. It's just part of what makes us a different kind of business. And we think that's pretty cool. Co-op, you're at home here.
Beaver Truck Center, Manitoba's Volvo truck and Hino truck dealer, serving our customers in Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario since 1996. With two locations, Winnipeg and Brandon, to serve your trucking requirements, specializing in sales, parts, service, leasing and rentals. For more information, please visit us at www.beavertrucks.com. Mike Poirier up and over. Well, for those of you tuned into our YouTube channel on the web, we are in a Cubex intermission break here in about the middle of our day in Bozizer. And we've got a little bit of freestyle snowcross action for you as an intermission break trick. Lots of tricks being performed here during intermission and we are partway through our freestyle snowcross demonstration. Mike Poirier on the red sled, Daniel Schaefer on the black sled. Here's Poirier right now. Nice double grab. Schaefer now. Up with a very smooth landing there. Who wants to see some more freestyle snow cross? Well, some great racing action being provided here so far at Co-op Community Complex, and now we've got some snow cross. Those inflatable landing ramps are certainly much, much safer than they used to be when they were a harder surface. However, they do require almost a perfect landing because if you get a little too far down or a little too far up, a lot of capability of bouncing on those ramps. We saw the freestyle motocrossers do this throughout the summer on a tour we did with some monster trucks and those inflatable ramps can be a little tricky, but they are safer for sure. That was Mike Poirier on the red sled. Here comes Dan Schaefer. Good looking race track conditions here in Beaujeu for this 2023 event. Part of the 61st running of the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. We are having a great day here so far. As you can see, our handy van heading around the big half mile oval as well. Full of kids from the Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone. Like an Indy Air for the rider on the red sled, Mike Poirier. Double grab for Dan Schaefer. Kids in the handy van getting a ride on the outside of the back straightaway. And there is a rider or driver in that handy van explaining how they get around the racetrack at speeds of almost 100 miles per hour during competition. Good looking Superman from Mike Poirier. No hander, Dan Schaefer on the FXR Racing, RSI Racing, RMC Company sled. Part of this Whiskey Throttle Motorsports 
Demonstration. Nice work for our, our Whiskey Throttle Motorsports competitors. Let's make some noise, Beaujager. You guys want to see some more freestyle snow cross? Let's make some noise. All right, this is known as the freestyle snow cross train. Let's make some noise. They're going to follow each other. Seat grab. Great landing. I can't hear you, Beauzejour. Let's make some noise. Can't hear you. Let's help to pump these guys up, and they will go bigger for you each and every time. Nice double grab. Hey, the backflip, how about that? Wow. Daniel Schaefer with the backflip, ladies and gentlemen. Great crowd on hand here at the Co-op Community Complex for this 61st Canadian Power Toboggan Championship weekend. Complimented by a great performance by Whiskey Throttle Motorsports, Mike Poirier and Dan Schaefer. That is something else, a backflip on a snowmobile. Wow. All right, we will continue now our Cubex intermission break. Get the racetrack cleaned up and get ready for our next Flight of Racing right here in Beauzejour. All right, about 10 minutes after they've finished, these freestyle snow crossers will be signing posters at the tent beside the grandstand. So give them a few minutes. They're going to head back to the pits, but they will be signing posters at the tent beside the grandstand. Again, a quick reminder, Knights of Columbus selling 50-50 tickets throughout the facility. You can't win if you're not in, so grab yourself a 50-50 ticket today. One draw today, one draw tomorrow. You buy a ticket today, they'll draw today. You buy a ticket tomorrow, they'll draw tomorrow.
All right, we're back right here live at the Co-op Community Complex for race 21 of 49 on the day. And here's how it's going to line up in race 21. The class is the Junior 2 F500 class for 14 to 17-year-olds. This will be round two for five laps coming to the line. The number 21 is going to be Andrew Brandt out of Dryden, Ontario. The 44 is Marley Peterson from Lancaster, Minnesota. From Balmoral, Manitoba, the 23 is Dylan Fox. The 44 is Ethan Clark out of Beauxjour. Riding the 113H is Hannah Cook out of Dayton, Minnesota. The 434 is Miranda Peterson from Lancaster, Minnesota. And riding the 22A out of Wausau, Wisconsin, this is Colton Abraham. Colton Abraham on the 22A on a 1991 Polaris for race 21. Junior 2 F500s are away. And a good start for the number 23 of Dylan Fox out of Balmoral. Real good start, real clean. Tension in the pit area, race 22, 23, and 24, all pro champ heat races for the USSA Pro Star Cup. So you want to be in staging. 23 is your leader. The 22A is second. That is Colton Abraham. And the 434 is Miranda Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota, running around in third spot right now. But currently it is all Dylan Fox on the 23 out of Balmoral, Manitoba. I'd like to welcome everybody back to our YouTube channel for Canadian Power Toboggan Championships. Hope you're enjoying the action so far. Red flag is out. Got a rider into the bales. It looks like in turn number four on the exit of turn four to your left if you're in the grandstands. See if we might be able to get a replay on cooldown.tv. I did not see that. I was looking over in turn number one and two. Safety crews tending to the situation over in turn four, of course. All right, so we're going to have a brief delay here as we bring out our Critic Care EMS team to have a look at the situation a little closer. We'll try to provide updates for you just as soon as we can. Replay not available. It was very tight to the bales in turn number four, so... And we will give you a report just as soon as we can from turn number four. want to remind everybody in the pit area, the next three races, race 22... 23 and 24 are all pro champ 440 ussa pro star cup races race 25 will be the ice bikes race 26 pro formula 500s All right, a real quick update from turn number four. The 113 is Hannah Cook involved over in turn four. We understand the rider is responsive. Our Critic Air EMS team checking the rider out. But, of course, things appear to be okay so far. But we will, of course, give you further updates.
All right, race fans, we're back here at the Co-op Community Complex right here in Bozizier, the 113 Hannah Cook being transported. We'll try to get you an update as soon as we can on the condition of the rider, but we are going to restart this race 21. Junior 2 F500, 14 to 17-year-olds on the track. And we'll get them down into the staging area and to the starting line. Tension once again in the pit area. Race 22 coming up next. Then 23 and race 24. All Pro Champ 440 USSA Pro Star Cup heat races. So if you're in those races, you'll want to be over towards the staging area immediately. Then we'll move to race 25, which will be Ice Bike Open. Ice Bike Open for race 25. Well, the 23 first to the starting line here, that is Dylan Fox out of Balmoral with a great start in our previous race. See if Dylan can grab that whole shot again. The 22A beside is Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin. Miranda Peterson is on the 434. Looks like we have the 44 of, well, one is a 44 Ethan Clark. The other is Marilee Peterson out of Lancaster. I'm going to guess the black 44 in the middle is Merrily, I think. As we get set to go. 21 is Andrew Brandt out of Dryden, Ontario. And we're racing. 23 with a good start. Race 21 on your schedule of 49 on the day. Junior 2 F500 for 14 to 17 year olds. Twenty-three, twenty-two a and the 434 in the top three in the 44X. In the fourth spot, we believe that is Marilee Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota. But right now, it is all Dylan Fox on the 23 out of Balmoral, Manitoba. White flag coming out this time around in race number 21. The Junior 2 F500 class. Colton Abraham out of Wisconsin, second, third is the 434. Number 21, Andrew Brandt, now challenging for the four spot. Andrew Brandt out of Dryden, Ontario, your leader already in turn number four. Dylan Fox is flying in this one. Dylan Fox will take the win on the number 23, the 22A second. Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin on the 91 Polaris, then Miranda Peterson. 4X to 21 and the 44 of Ethan Clark round out the field in race number 21, the Junior 2 F500 class. Great job by the number 23, real fast in that one. Okay, moving into race number 22. We'll do the lineup right now. We have it, ProChamp 440 Pro Star Racing, round three, heat one. Danik Lambert will be the number three, starting out of Sorel Tracy, Quebec. Weather Roll Racing Entry, sponsored by Skelton Truck Lines. The number 28 is Matt Gady out of New Germany, Minnesota. The number 220 is G-Money Gunnar Stern out of West Chicago, Illinois, a multi-time champion. Riding the 233 is Matt Bennett out of New London, Wisconsin. That is a 2020 Polaris 39, sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing. The rider is out of Lodi, Wisconsin. This is Tom Olson. And the team is, of course, out of Greenbush, Minnesota. The Wall Brothers Racing 2023 Polaris, the 39, will be Tom Olson. 75 is a question mark. That's Calvin Cook. We'll see if he gets to the line. The number eight is Travis McDonald out of Lockport, Manitoba on the skidoo. And the 157 is John Hankey out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. That is your lineup for race 22 of 49 on the day. Race 22 Pro Champ, 440 Pro Star, round three, heat number one. We're getting set to go racing here.
Looks like the 39 with the whole shot. Tom Olson out of Lodi, Wisconsin on the Wall Brothers racing entry. Look at him charge into turn three and four. These riders are serious and moving right along here. Gady guy, they're stern. Gady and Stern one and two and turns one and two. Gunnar Stern has been extremely fast at this racetrack and others, of course, over the course of the years. Stern following along here behind Gady. It is a good race for the top spot here. Travis McDonald, then the 39 of Olsen. Here comes the number 157, John Hankey out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. That is a 2023 skidoo. 97 miles per hour on the last circuit. White flag, one to go. Danique Lambert in six, trying to get inside of the 39 of Olsen in turn one and two. That doesn't stick. Leaders in turn three and four. This is race 22. Gady, Stern, and McDonald, followed by Hanky and Olsen for the top five, unofficially in race 22. That was exciting to watch. Good racing action here at the Co-op Community Complex brought to you by FXR. Here comes race 23 in the Pro Champs. Round three, heat two for five laps. The 16 is going to be DJ Saluk out of Bozizier. From Cooks Creek, Manitoba, on an Articat, the 370 is Matt Zalai. Calvin Peterson is out of Eaton, Wisconsin, on the number 54. The 15 is Hunter Sears from St. Francis, Minnesota. Riding the five out of Warburg, Alberta, this is Russ Leba. The 24, sponsored by Sobetsky Enterprises and Otto Bozizier. This is Jordan Sobetsky. The 21, Tyler Obi is out of Bozizier. And the 87, Madison Phillips will round out the field. Madison is out of Drayton, North Dakota. On a 2020 Johnson Racing chassis. Race 23 of 49. Good field approach out, 440s here. In fact, 24 registering at the Co-op Community Complex. And here we go. Wow, what a start for the 54. Calvin Peterson in a great big hurry. We've got a crash in turn number one. Couple of the riders up already. As the riders throw their hands up at each other. We will try to get a cooldown.tv replay as the riders look over the damage over there. Our recovery team's heading over there right away. All right, so we'll give you a Appraisal of the situation just as soon as you get an update from turn number one. A lot of sleds going into a narrow, narrow turn one. I see the 24 Sobetsky walking around on the Sobetsky Enterprises 24. He looks okay. Here's the cooldown.tv replay for those of you watching on the web. 
Good start. And, oh, yep, there it is. Looks like a total of three sleds involved, and I think all three riders are up and okay. So looks like good news from turn number one as Sobetsky's number 24 gets loaded up on the recovery sled. Tough break for Jordan Sobetsky. Started racing at age four with the Manitoba Mini Sled Racing Association. Been racing 15 years. This is his debut year in Pro Champ. He tied for second this year in the Central Minnesota Pond Racing Series. Actually ended up third, though. I guess they tied for second in points, but ended up third on a technicality. Beaujolais Manitoba rider is 19 years old. Rides dirt bikes and races go-karts in the summer for fun. Sponsored by Sobetsky Enterprises, DC Accounting, Edge Equipment, Sun and Snow, SPI Logistics, Big Smoke Barbecue in Steinbach, Oak Bank Auto Body, and Auto Stripe. Well, that 24 gone back to the pit area. They will have to check things out. Tough going in turn number one. In race 23, your Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Round 3 Heat 2 race. Race 24 will also be in the Pro Champ class. Then we'll move to the ice bikes for race 25, which will put us about halfway through our race day. Race 26, Pro Formula 500s. Race 27, another Pro Formula 500 race, as is race 28. Race 29 will be the ATV Open, and race 30, the Supermod 440 Free Air and Liquids. While we got a second, we'd like to thank some of our great sponsors, including FXR, Beaver Truck Center, Beaujolais Co-op, Beaujolais GM, Cobra Enterprises, Travel Manitoba, Moosehead, Access Credit Union, Beaujolais Home Hardware, Sobetsky Enterprises, Westside Power Sports, RM of Brokenhead, and the Town of Beaujolais. All right, they're getting the signal over in turn two to fire up and get back to the staging area. Don't forget... Lots to see and do. You can visit the Cobra Pit area during the day here. Visit with your favorite riders. Check out some awesome, awesome snowmobiles in the pit area. Also visit our beer gardens, now known as the Moose Den. Grab yourself an ice cold moose head or grab yourself some CPTC promo wear. We have the Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone as well. As we get set to restart race 23. All right, race 23 on the track, coming back to the starting line now. Full restart, we are told, for this one. Keep your eyes on the 54 of Calvin Peterson out of Eden, Wisconsin. 16-year-old rider, also races motocross, sponsored by Skidoo, Pier Technical, Tennyson & Associates, and Woody's. Russell Lebo on the five out of Warburg, Alberta. Many provinces and states represented here in this one. Whoop, bit of a jump there. We'll try it again. All right, we're gonna try this one again in race 23. 
DJ Saluk on the number 16. Is that a Bozizier? There's the 15 pulling up. Hunter Sears from St. Francis, Minnesota. And looking them over at the starting line and we're racing. Look at that start. The 54. Wow. Calvin Peterson out of Eden, Wisconsin. 16-year-old rider sponsored by Skidoo and Woody's in a great big hurry off the starting line. Took off like a shot. Hunter Sears out of St. Francis, Minnesota, your second place competitor right now and a good race for third and fourth down the back straightaway. They are moving right along here in race 23. Getting tighter here. Keep your eyes on that number 21. Wow! Turn one and two slides it in and stays on the throttle. We have a three sled race for first place. 90 miles per hour on the previous circuit. White flag is out. One lap to go. Great racing for second and third as the 21 goes on the outside, takes second, and now has his sights set on the leader. Here we go through turn three and four on the final lap and the final straightaway. Very, very close. Looks like the 54, the 21 of the 15, the 5 fourth. But what a job by the number 21 of Tyler Obietta Bozizier, local rider, almost picks off the leader, the number 54 of Calvin Peterson out of Eden, Wisconsin at the finish line. That was a great, great finish. Wow. Very, very enjoyable to watch. All right, race 24 coming up next. This should be more Pro Champ action, and it is USSA Pro Star Cup action. The 11 is Fred Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin. Riding the 102, this is Blaine Stevenson out of St. Cloud, Minnesota. The 31 is Will Garceau out of Wisconsin. The one out of Hartford, Wisconsin is Griffin Leepak. The 91 is Sam Gluer from Bozizier. The 39X, this is Justin Peterson from Campbellsport, Wisconsin. The 26 is Quinn Whitechuck out of Bozizier and out of Enola. The 35, Dylan Barron. We do scratch the 91, we're just told. Yes, the 91 is out. Okay. The 91 is out, we are told right now. Did not make staging. Sam Bleur out of Bozizier is out in race number 24. Getting set to go. Good looking 35. <laughs> And heading down the back straightaway now is your 440 Pro Champ class. Great battle for second, third as they come down the front straightaway. This one's scheduled for five laps. 39 is the leader. That is Justin Peterson out of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. The Wall Brothers Racing FXR 102. Blaine Stevenson out of St. Cloud, currently second. Fred Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin in the third spot. Good looking sled. Good racing for the top two spots, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth close on the racetrack as well. 
Peterson, Stevenson. Then the 11 of Mankey. As your leaders work through turn three and four, white flag will be coming out this time around. Justin Peterson is your leader. Blaine Stevenson out of St. Cloud, Minnesota on the 2023 Wall Brothers Racing Polaris. A distant second here as they come around turn number four. It's gonna be Justin Peterson followed by the 102. That is Blaine Stevenson. Then the 11 of Mackey, the 26 of White Check, and the one. That is Griffin Leepak out of Hartford, Wisconsin. Your unofficial top five. So we get set to move to two wheels next for race 25. Ice bike open. All right, ice bikes up next here for race 25. This is round two of our two-wheeled racers. The 219 is going to be Caden Katowicz out of Petersfield, Manitoba. Riding the number 18 is Hunter Brink from Kakabeka Falls, Ontario. The 866 is William Shannon. The 489 is Avery Carr out of Beausager. 14 is Ryan Rondeau. Alex Torma will be on the 10, not the triple nine, and Larry Lage is out out of Thunder Bay on the 10. So the 10 will be ridden by Alex Torma, and we are getting set, and here we go. This is race number 25 on your schedule. Ice bike open round two for five laps. See if we can get a radar speed on these bikes. They usually do over 80 miles per hour. The 489 is the leader. That is Avery Carr out of Beauzeur, leading the way on those great looking Kawasaki's. Those Cowies are fast in the 450 division and motocross as well. Dirt motocross I'm talking about. Kawasaki seems to be the king of the 450s these days. As Ryan Rondeau takes his Kawasaki past the 489 Kawasaki of Carr. Good guess, 83 miles per hour on the previous lap. That is pretty quick on two wheels, huh? White flag coming out next time around. Riley Baker is our starter here at the Co-op Community Complex in CPTC. Ryan Rondeau followed by Carr on the 489. Caden Katowicz is on the 219. That is a Honda in the third spot. That Ryan Rondeau is tough. Great rider on arguably the best 450 built right now. So. Pretty tough combination to beat in the ice bike class. And Ryan Rondeau is going to pick it up, followed by the 489. That is Avery Carr out of Beausager. Caden Kontoich will be third. And that 866, William Shannon out of Anola. That is a KTM. Once again, Ryan Rondeau on the 14 dominates the ice bike open round two race so next up 
three Formula 500 races. Race 26, race 27, and race 28 as we pick up a bike. That is the number 10 by the looks of things. Alex Torma, I think that should be. That would have been, yeah, that is the number 10. Alex Torma took the number 10 out. As they do a little bit of bail repair work over there. That is located, of course, in turn one and two. Again, we want to welcome all of our viewers on our CPTC YouTube channel. The entire production expertly executed by Cooldown.tv. Don't forget, 50-50 tickets are available today from the Knights of Columbus at the Beer Garden, which is now, now known as the Moose Den. I think I'd been over there already, the way I'm talking, but no, I haven't. But you can get yourself an ice-cold moose head at the Moose Den and get a 50-50 ticket. Huge crowd today. I'm sure the Knights of Columbus are going to give away a boatload of money. So, Well, boats are around the corner, Anthony, you know. This is kind of the marker weekend, right? The weather normally turns around this time of year. You don't think? You think it's going to be a little colder, right? Eh? Yeah, well, sometimes we're racing in plus six here. I've seen Celsius, of course. Is it a record 15? It could be. And I've seen minus 30 or 32 one year. It was so cold here. It was unbelievable. And that was the December race that one year. I can't remember the year, but it was a while ago. Yeah, it's certainly been a lot colder here in March and a bit warmer, but this is about ideal. It looks like the racetrack is holding up really, really well so far and should have a frosty evening to get things back in shape for tomorrow's 61st CPTC. So you figure, all right, so... Chris says that year 2000 could have been the record for warm temperatures, and it was 21 Celsius. What happened to that today? Yeah, it had to have been. 21 degrees Celsius, wow. That's about 70-ish Fahrenheit, eh? 73 maybe, 72? Yeah, for our American friends that are tuned into our YouTube channel. Okay, let's get racing again. Race 26, Pro Formula 500s, round two, heat one. Here's how they're going to look. 446 is Mike Shackelford. Shackelford is out of Oakville, Manitoba. The 111 is Dave Blair out of Owen Sound. The 95 is Jerry LePage. The 22A is Colton Abraham. Riding the 22W, this is Warren Leba. The 54 is Tom Keelback, and the 17 is Jared Sackvey out of Bozizier on an 89 Polaris. Looks like the 22A is there. Here comes the 17. Looks like we could be short a sled. One more. We've got five there, and I've got more than that on my line. And we're racing in the Pro Formula 500 class, round two, heat number one. Troubles for your leader going high, that is Leba. Warren Leba goes way to the outside of turn four, Shackelford on the 4-4-6, four, four, following right along. But right now, Leba showing the way around the big half mile. First to three heat races in the Pro Formula 500 class. Twenty-two W, then Shackelford, seventeen Sackby, the twenty-two A. That is Colton Abraham out of Wassa. The ninety-five is Jerry LePage from Murillo, Ontario.
green flag still being displayed as the Napa 22W speeds into turn number one with a commanding lead. White flag. Next up, race 27, more Promula 500 racing. Round two, heat two. Pro Formula 500s for race 27 and race 28. Checkered flag is out. Your winner is going to be Lebo on the 22W. Shackleford, the 446 is second, third. It's Saki, the 22A, and the 95 of LePage round out the top five in race number 26, the Pro Formula 500, round two, heat one action. All right, earlier we were telling you about the Knights of Columbus 50-50 draw. They have almost taken in about 1000 bucks, so the prize right now would be about 500 bucks. but we can drive that way up. So buy your 50-50 tickets. We have sellers located throughout the grandstands and the area, and you also want to get to the beer garden, grab yourself an ice-cold moose head, and the Knights of Columbus 50-50 draw is available at the Moose Den as well. So do check it out. Let's get that prize way up. We've got a great crowd here today. Great race 27. Mike Schultz is on the 33C. Bruce Rosentreader on the 96. 34X is Kale Bello, the 13 Dale Hunter. Riding the 9, Stefan Kerrigan. The 113 is Kendra Westman. And Austin Madison is on the 41 out of Bancher, Minnesota. Looks like the 113 of Kendra Westland doing a nice job. Kendra is out of Strathcona, Minnesota on a 1992 Polaris. 96, Rosentreader, Kerrigan is on the number nine. Stefan Kerrigan, the 1991 Skidoo. 79 miles per hour on the previous lap for our Pro Formula 500s. Kale Bello on the 34X out there. Out of Wappen, Wisconsin, Kale Bello on the 34X. One thirteen speeding along. Austin Madison is out of Badger, Minnesota on the 41. 82 miles an hour for the leader on the last lap. A little bit quicker. White flag is coming out. One to go for the 113. Kendra Westland, Rosentreader and Kerrigan in the top three. Gail Bello. In the hunt here in this one as it comes to a close for race 27. Checkered flag, that'll do it. The 113 will take the win. Kendra Westland, Rosentreader, and Kerrigan in the top three. Kel Bello on the 34X. 13, Dale Hunter. 
Coming across the line, the 13 Dale Hunter is out of Ontario. That is a 1990 Polaris. So that does it for race 27 in the Pro Formula 500 class. One more Pro Formula 500 heat race to go. Round two, heat three. And here's how they'll line up for race number 28. The 135 will be Blair McDonald out of Grand Point, Manitoba. And on the 113, this is Hannah Westland from Strathcona. Aboard the number 34 is Colton Newolney out of Medford, Wisconsin. And out of Bozizier, the 15 is Kyle Omachinski. The 111 is Tanner Foss from Middle River, Minnesota. And rounding out the field, the 580 is Caroline Allard out of Roseau, Minnesota. That is your lineup for race 28 coming up. After this race, race 29 will be your ATV open. Then race 30, Supermod 440 free air liquid. And then a quick grooming break. We are racing. Here we go. Race 28 on your schedule of 49. Pro Formula 500. Round 2. Heat number 3 for 5 laps. ATV open. You should be in staging. Followed by the Super Mod 440 free air and liquid race. Last call, ATV opened. We need you to the staging area immediately. 34 is the leader, followed by the 111 and the 15. Colton New only. The 111 Tanner Foss of the 15 of Kyle Omachinski in the top three currently. Race still under green is not much changing here in the top three. 34, 111, and the 15 are your top three. And they are pulling away from the field. After the ATV open, we will move to race 30, Supermod 440, free air and liquid. We need you in staging immediately as well. Nice smooth run for the 34 of Colton, Neil Walney, Tanner Foss, and Obachinski follow along in the top three. Blair McDonald's on the 135 out of Grand Point. Caroline Allard is out of Roseau, Minnesota on the 580. That'll do it. The 34 takes victory, followed by the 111 and the 15 of Omachinski. That is your top three here in race 28. 135, unofficially fourth. Blair McDonald out of Grand Point, Manitoba. That is a 1989 Polaris. And the 580 rounds out the field. Caroline Allard out of Roseau, Minnesota on an 89 Polaris, number 580. Race 28 now in the books. Here comes the ATV Open Race. Round two for five laps. The 13 will be Tyler Feeblecorn. Riding the 20 is Peter Friesen. Mike Verbruge is out of Garson on the 22. Ryan Gibson on the 71 is from Beaujolais. Riding out of Oak Bank, Manitoba, the 29 is Corey Johnson. The 44 is Ethan Clark. And the 14 is Rob Clark out of Beaujolais. All right. 
Yeah, I like that number 29. Look at that side number plates, Anthony. That is, that's the way to go. You can read it. One of them you can read. See that 29? That's the one to have right there. Those side number plates, you can read them. They're fantastic. Those front number plates are very hard to see from up here. You should make them mandatory. How about it? How about you go down there after this race and you say the next race, you all have side number plates. You're bigger than I am. They'll listen to you first. Race 29 on the schedule. ATV open for five laps. Ryan Gibson out of Bozizer showing the way here. Sliding through turns number one and two. Sounded like 84 miles per hour on the previous circuit. Maybe it's 74. I thought I heard 84. A little bit scrambly. Gibson doesn't care. He's in the lead and running away with it. Tyler Feeblecorn is out of Bozizer on the number 13 and looking at the leader's back bumper right now. Under green. Corey Johnson out of Oak Bank on the 29, looking good. Looks to be about fourth on the racetrack. This time around, it should be four down and one to go. We should be seeing the white flag, and there it is. Gibson leads it, Feeblecorn. Mike Verbruge out of Garson, Manitoba on the 22. 29, Corey Johnson out of Oak Bank. And that'll do it. Gibson will take the win, followed by Feeblecorn. That is your top two in the ATV Open Division. Don't forget, you can get official results on cooldown.tv. As they become available, they will post them at intermission times on the web on our CPTC YouTube channel. What a great crowd here today. Wow, fantastic weather. More racing action today and even more tomorrow when we run our 61st Canadian Power Toboggan Championship. Today, of course, we're working on the USSA Pro Star Cup. We'll have a feature winner in race 49 to crown, and we will also crown the overall points champion for the USSA Pro Star Cup. So lots of action set to come your way here today. It is going to be a great day here today and tomorrow in Beauzeshire. All right, this should be race 30, Supermod 443, air and liquid cooled. Three competitors and three laps. I like that rule. I do. If you got three sleds, you get three laps. Well, we see it in stock car racing a lot. You know, we really do. You, you got four cars and you got a 15 lap feature. I don't get it. I don't know who wants to watch four cars running around for 15 laps, but I like this deal. This is great. Three sleds, three laps. Adam Braun on the 223, Montura on the 65, and Kevin Fleming out of BC on the 478. Norm Chura, the veteran on the number 65 out of Anola, Manitoba, riding a 1973 Polaris. He has run countless laps around this half mile oval. 223, Adam Braun, Kevin Fleming out of Sycamus, BC. Beautiful area. In the third spot here in this three lap race.
White flag will come out this time, indicating just one more lap to go. So two down, one to go for Norm Shura. Adam Braun on the Kawasaki second. 478 is a 1973 Skidoo. That's Kevin Fleming. And that'll do it. Norm Churro will pick up the win on the 65, followed by Adam Braun. And Kevin Fleming out of Sycamus, BC will take third on the 478 on the 1973 Skidoo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time for a Cubex intermission break. So we're going to sweep and clean up the track. The handy van will be over at the Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone. So if you're a kid and you want to get a ride in the handy van around this racetrack, line up at the Access Credit Union Family Fun Zone. The van will pick you up. In the meantime, get on over to the Moose Den. Get yourself something cold to drink. Check out the full line of CPTC promo wear. And we'll be back with you momentarily right here at the Co-op Community Complex. Full service at your local co-op means extra service at no extra cost. We'll fill your tank, clean your windshield, and get you on your way. And full service is part of why co-ops are able to provide good jobs to more than 25,000 Western Canadians. Whether it's rainy in Victoria, sunny in Regina, cold in Edmonton, or even colder in Winnipeg, full service, it's a co-op thing.
Whether investing in your child's future, planning your dream retirement, or saving for a vacation in between, Access Credit Union has the right investment solution for every stage in your life. Open an investment online in minutes and get sound advice tailored to your needs. As members ourselves, you'll feel comfort in knowing we have your best interest at heart. Access Credit Union. Invest in you. Beaver Truck Center, Manitoba's Volvo truck and Hino truck dealer, serving our customers in Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario since 1996. With two locations, Winnipeg and Brandon, to serve your trucking requirements, specializing in sales, parts, service, leasing and rentals. For more information, please visit us at www.beavertrucks.com.
Hey, fans, just to give you a quick heads up, there will be a Champ 440 autograph session after this intermission in the Moose Den. So if you want to meet and greet your favorite Pro Champ 440 riders, they will be in the Moose Den, the beer garden, after this intermission. Once racing starts, the Champ 440s will be in the Moose Den. And fans, just a quick further update for you. Earlier in race number 21, the Junior 2 F500 class, you'll recall the 113H of Hannah Cook went heavy into turn four into the bales. Well, Hannah Cook apparently is doing very well at the hospital, just being checked over, so that is very good news for Hannah Cook and the family. They're just doing some extra precautions, of course. Safety is first here at CPTC, so good news from the Hannah Cook team.
Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Pro Champ Riders will be in the Moose Den, the Beer Garden, when this next race starts. We will have a race 32. Race 31 will start after intermission. Race 32 will be the Pro Champ 440 last chance qualifier. But the riders that have qualified, some of them will be in the Moose Den at the start of race 31 right after this intermission. Also, once again, a quick update on Hannah Cook from Dayton, Minnesota. In the hospital, but doing well and responding well, and everything seems to be pretty much thumbs up over there. So that's great news. Jordan Sabetsky on the racetrack after an earlier crash in turn number one for a couple of hot laps. One of the larger, taller riders on the circuits between 6'3 and 6'4, so getting used to that sled once again to see how it's performing. All right, we are live back on cooldown.tv, our YouTube channel, CPTC, and live back here at the Co-op Community Complex. We'd like to welcome you back. Want to let you know right now at the Moose Den, our beer garden, we have the Pro Champ Riders signing autographs. And an update for you in Internet World, the 113H of Hannah Cook, Dayton, Minnesota, was transported to hospital earlier, but is doing very well, we're told. So that is great news for Hannah Cook and the family out of Dayton, Minnesota, as we get set to come back here with race 31, women's formula 500, round one, five laps. The 580 is Caroline Allard out of Roseau. The 113 is going to be Kendra Westland. Marilee Peterson is on the 44. Miranda Peterson on the 434. Hannah Cook was scheduled to start in this one with Will Not. And Hannah Westland is on the 113. We're racing race number 31, Women's Formula 500 action on the track. Next up, last chance qualifier for the Pro Champ 440 class. 15 riders in the next race. Only three will go to the final. Andrew Westland on the 113, looking good here in the Women's Formula 500, round one, five lapper. Green flag being displayed on the front shoot. Kendra Westland on the 113, is second the 434 Miranda Peterson is at a Lancaster and running third. Race 32 coming up next, Pro Champ 440, Pro Star Cup, last chance qualifier. Race 33, Junior 1 380 and Junior 2 600 sprint. Forty four X rolling in the top five. Marilee Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota. White flag for the leader, Kendra Westland. Anna Westland on the other number one thirteen. Last call for all pro champs in the last chance qualifier.
Kendra Westland on the 113 takes it. Hanna Westland on the other 113 finishes second in the women's Formula 500 race. 44X and the 580 come across. Marie Lee Peterson out of Lancaster. And the 580 of Caroline Allard out of Roseau, Minnesota round out the field in race number 31. Pro Champ last chance qualifier coming up next. The riders that are not in this race are signing autographs right now at the Moose Den. Here's how this Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup last chance qualifier works. We have 15 on the line for this next race, or scheduled for 15. We might be missing a couple, but only three will qualify. The winner will start on the front row of the main event. Second and third will start on the back row of the main event. So here's the lineup. The number 15 is going to be Hunter Sears out of St. Francis, Minnesota. Danique Lambert is out of Sorel Tracy, Quebec on the number three. The one is Griffin Leepak out of Hartford, Wisconsin. Riding the number five out of Warburg, Alberta. This is Russell Leba. The 2-3-3 is Matt Bennett out of New London, Wisconsin. The 11 is Fred Mankey from Lodi, Wisconsin. Riding out of Cooks Creek, Manitoba, the 370 is Matt Zalai. DJ Saluk is on the 16 out of Bozeger. 26 is Quinn White Chuck. I believe we will scratch the 75 of Calvin Cook. 24 of Jordan Sobetsky just did a hot lap, should be in this one, the 87. Madison Phillips is out of Drayton. 35 is Dylan Barron from Enola, Manitoba. Looks like we're going to scratch the 91 of Sam Glure out of Bozeger, as well as the 75 of Calvin Cook, of course, and the 31. Will Garceau out of Wisconsin is a question mark right now. The 31 a question mark. So it looks like we could have 13 or 12, but still only three will qualify. The winner to the front row of the main event, second and third to the second row of the main event. So we're going to go racing and find out who's going to the main event and who's going to the trailer. This is an awful, awful big field of pro champs, and only three will qualify. Jordan Sobetsky on the Sobetsky Enterprises, number 24, does a big loop around. Also sponsored by Big Smoke Barbecue. Alongside the 26 of Quinn Whitechuck out of Bozeger, a pair of Bozeger riders. 87 of Phillips and Barron at the back in row two. And we are set to go racing here momentarily. Last chance qualifier. Here we go. Plenty of action in turn number one and two. There are lots of sleds, and they are moving. Wow. Side by side out of turn four and down the front straightaway. They're getting at it. Liba and Danique Lambert. Out of Sorel, Tracy, Quebec. Ninety-four miles per hour on the previous circuit, and here comes the race down the front straightaway once again. Liba, Danique Lambert, and the eleven in the top three. That is Fred Mankey out of Lodi, Wisconsin. If the race ended now, those three would go to the main event. The rest of them go to the trailer. What a battle up front! Take a look in turn three and four. They are getting serious over there. Great racing action in turn three and four. White flag coming out. Four down in this five lap. Last chance qualifier, Danny Lambert. Then the five and the 11, those are your top three. The 11 of Fred Mankey on the bubble, but fourth place not really close right now. Checkered flag is in the hands of Riley Baker on the front straightaway. Your leader's coming down that front straightaway. Danique Lambert, number one, 
second, the five, and the 11. Those will be your qualifiers. Wow. Getting her done in the Pro Champ 440 USSA Pro Star Cup. Last chance qualifier and nice ride by Dadik Lambert. Heading off to the final main event on race number 49 of the day coming up a little later. Don't forget the rest of the Pro Champ drivers are over right now at the Moose Den. That is our beer garden. Get on over there, check out the full line of CPTC promo wear and get autographs from your favorite Pro Champ 440 riders. There's some fast riders over there. Do get their autographs. And moving right along, Junior 1, 380, and Junior 2, 600 sprint racing coming up. The 43 is going to be Carson Peterson out of Lancaster, Minnesota. The 53 is Alyssa Gusta, sponsored by Gusta Sod Farms out of Stead, Manitoba. This is a 2018 Hool Racing chassis. The number 60 is Braxton Cassidy. The 916 is Harrison Lefebvre. And the 59, Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota. 2020 Johnson Racing Chassis. Junior one 380 and Junior 2 600 sprints coming up. All right, getting to it. We got a jumper, I think. All right, I think we're going to do that one over again by the looks of things. And we are for sure. All right, so working on race 33, junior one 380 and junior two sprints. All right, so lined up once again here. We're going to try things over. Looks like Gusta blamed for the false start. Alyssa Gusta on the 53 out of stead. Racing down the back straightaway now. And into turn three and four. What a great race up front. Wow, the 59 is flying. Hunter Johnson, real strong. 82 miles per hour. That is quick. Green still being displayed on the front shoot. Attention to the pit area. This is race 33. If you're in race 34, which is a Super Mod 340, Super Stock 440 Combo Classic race, well, you'll need to get to staging immediately.
White flag coming out next time around in race 33, the Junior 1 380 and Junior 2 600 sprint class. And there's the checkered. That will do it for that one. Junior one, 380 and junior two, 600 sprint race. That was five laps in duration. Last call for race 34. Super mod 340 liquid, super stock 440 liquid combo class. Then we'll move to another round of the Jerry Bunky Cup for race 35. Race 36 will be the Sportsman 600s. Race 37, the Junior 2 F500s. All right, we'll bring you that lineup momentarily as we get set to go. Just cleaning up a bit of a mess over at the exit of turn number two. Don't forget an autograph session going on right now at the Moose Den. Race 35, last call. Race 36 is a Sportsman 600 race. As a recovery crew goes to work over on turn number two. And here we go. Race 34, Super Mods. All right, we have race 49, our final race of the day, the USSA Pro Star Cup final in our hands. Of course, we are a ways away from that, but we do have the lineup and it's looking good. Some real strong competitors in that one, of course. All right, Bryce Olson is on the 20, the 223 is Adam Braun, the 44 is Vic Mazur, riding the 478 is Kevin Fleming. Kieran Lowen is on the 13, Marcus Iverson on the 727. Out of Langdon, North Dakota. Cody Whitechuck is out of Bozier on the 65. Norm Chura on the other number 65. All right. This is going to be a good one. Oh, we have a jumper. That is the 65. I think that could be, could it be Norm Chura? Cody Whitechuck on one of the 65s. The other one is Norm Chura. Let's try that one again. Forty-four with the whole shot. A great start for the number forty-four of Vic Mazer out of West St. Paul. That's seventy-three Polaris looking sharp off the starting line. This is your Super Mod 340 Liquid, Super Stock 440 Liquid Combo Class. Here's the battle down the front shoot. 223. Coming up to join the party, that's Adam Braun. 727 is Marcus Iverson out of Langdon, North Dakota. Marcus is on a 75 Arctic Cat.
223 showing the way. Two twenty-three. Adam Braun is out of Winnipeg on a nineteen eighty-one Kawasaki. Seventy-seven miles per hour, we're told on the previous circuit. Rick Mazer on the forty-four comes to sixty-five. Tension in the pit area, race 35 coming up next. Jerry Bunky Cup qualifier. You'll want to be in the staging area right now. White flag coming out. One to go for the 2-2-3. Two, two, Adam Braun, the 44, looks like Chura. And the other number 64, five rather, Cody Whitechuck. Hard to tell those two 65s apart, they're identical. Same number, same machine, same orange bibs. Checkered flag is on the front shoot. Adam Braun, the 2 2 3 will take it. Looks like Chura Mazer. White Chuck, the 13, is next. That is Kieran Lowen. That should be your top five unofficially. And you are. Super Mod 340 Liquid, Super Stock 440 Liquid Combo Classic Race. That final was five laps. Next up, race 35, your IFS 440X class, all part of the Jerry Bunky Memorial Cup. We'll bring you that lineup momentarily right here at Co-op Community Complex. All right, here we go. So race 35, IFS 440X, Jerry Bunky Cup. Russ Leba out of Warburg, Alberta, will be on the number five. This is a 1982 moto ski. And riding a 1979 Skidoo out of Bozizier, Manitoba. Look for the 21, this is Tyler Obi. The number 13 is Dale Hunter out of Thamesford, Ontario. Riding a 78 moto ski. And aboard the 71 out of Bozizier, this is Ryan Gibson on a 79 Skidoo. And also on a 79 Skidoo, the 80 is Joel Presta out of Ladywood, Manitoba. That's that good looking bright blue number 80 on the outside, Joel Presta. Formerly out of Ontario, now in Manitoba. Good start for the five and the 80, but it looks like Presta will lead the pack into turn one and two, and Presta has a thumb full of throttle and is moving down the back straight away. Of course, the winner of last year's Jerry Bunky Memorial Cup was Russ Leba of Warburg, Alberta. Very, very prestigious race. 96 miles per hour on the previous lap. They are moving. Presta is your leader. Seven, Ryan Gibson. 71 on your lineup sheets. I'm sure that is the number seven of Gibson, who's also competing in the ATV class. Five, his third. That is Russ Leba, of course, out of Warburg, Alberta. White flag coming out this time around. Presta still showing the way, Obi, then the 71 or seven of Gibson in the third spot. <laughs> 
Not much question about this one. Joe Preston on the 80 is going to win it. Obi, then the 71 of Gibson. The 5 will come home fourth. That is Russ Lieba out of Warburg, Alberta on the motor ski. And Dale Hunter out of Ontario on the 78 motor ski will come home in the fifth spot unofficially. Race 35, part of that Jerry Bunky Cup Memorial qualifying session. All right, so race 36 should be on deck here, a Sportsman 600 race. And we'll bring you that lineup momentarily. Here they come. Moving things along real nicely here today. It's a 49 race day, 49 total races. So the crew in the back in staging doing a wonderful job as usual here at CPTC. They are so fast and efficient. It is fantastic. All right, race 36, Sportsman 600s. This is round two for five laps. The 15 will be Kyle Omachinski out of Bozager, riding a 2000 Polaris. Also on a 2000 Polaris, out of Bozager as well. The 16 is DJ Saluk. 34 is Kale Bellow out of Wapun, Wisconsin. The 179, this is Jason Mackey out of Lanigan, Saskatchewan. Riding the three is Scott Wagner. The 23 is Will Manchalenko. 13 is John Hall from Bozager, and the 41 is Austin Madison out of Badger, Minnesota. 1991 Polaris mounted rider. Race 36. Sportsman 600, round two for five laps. Race 37 coming up next. Junior 2 F500 for 14 to 17 year olds. Then race 38 will be back to the two wheelers, the dirt bikes. 16 and the 23 here with some great starts. That is DJ Saluk and Will Manchalenko doing battle off the starting line. Looks like Omachinski in the third spot currently down the back straightaway and into that very fast turn number three. DJ Saluk is on the number 16 out of Bozager. That is a 2000 Polaris. 23, Will Manchalenko. 90 miles an hour on the previous lap. They are getting her done. Look at this battle over in turn number four. Green flag still being displayed on the front straightaway. 16, DJ Salute, the 15, Omachinski, the 23 is third. That is Will Manchalenko. Your top three so far here at the Sportsman 600 round number two race. White flag should be out next. DJ Salute. Kyle Omachinski, Manchalenko. Then the 13 of John Hall. All out of the Beaujolais area and all doing a great job. Checkers coming out now for your race leader as that leader comes out of turn number four. DJ Saluk will win it, followed by Omachinski and the 23 of Will Manchalenko. Fifty fifties for another half hour. If you want a fifty fifty ticket, do grab one from the 
Moose Den, the Beer Garden, Knights of Columbus selling 50-50 tickets and only for a half an hour more. You can't win if you're not in, so we do have sellers throughout the grandstand area and, of course, at the Moose Den. You can get them for sure at the Moose Den if you go down over there for an ice-cold moose head. Race 37 on the docket. Junior 2 F500, 14 to 17 year olds, round three. 22A is gonna be Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin. The 21 is Andrew Brandt out of Dryden. Riding the 44, well we've got a couple of them. Ethan Clark out of Bozeger. And on the 44X, this is Marley Peterson out of Lancaster. Scratch Hannah Cook, she crashed earlier but is okay we're told. 23 Dylan Fox is out of Balmoral and the 434 is Miranda Peterson out of Lancaster. This is Junior 2 F500 racing coming up. And the Sly Dylan Fox with a great start. Remember two number 44s in this race, Ethan Clark out of Bozeger, the 44X is Marley Peterson out of Lancaster. Dylan Fox with a big lead, the 22A in the second spot is Colton Abraham, the 434, of course, Miranda Peterson from Lancaster riding a 1989 GPR chassis. Right now it is all the number 23 going away. Dylan Fox on a Balmoral looking real strong flexing the muscles out there. Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin on a 1991 Polaris, number 22A. Having a good showing here. 49 races on the day. We are on race 37. Forty four X of the twenty one battle. Forty four X is Marley Peterson. The twenty one is Andrew Brandt out of Dryden, Ontario, a little ways back in the pack. White flag coming out this time around. Well, the 23 has absolutely dominated, and Dylan Fox will take the checkered flag. The 22A is second. Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin, but nobody there to challenge. Very fast, Dylan Fox. Miranda Peterson unofficially third on the 434. 44X. Marley Peterson comes across out of Lancaster, unofficially fourth. But nobody to challenge. The sly Dylan Fox out of Balmoral, Manitoba, who outfoxes his opponents and takes the win in race number 37. Race 38 coming up immediately. Ice bike open round three for five laps. And here's how they line up. The 866 is Will Shannon out of Enola. Riding the 219 is Caden Katowicz from Petersfield. Scratch the 10 of Larry Lage out of Thunder Bay. The 14 is Ryan Rondeau out of Winnipeg. The 489 is Avery Carr out of Bozeger. That 14 and 489 will likely have a good battle here. Number 10, not the number 999. It's the number 10 now for Alex Torma. So Alex will ride the 10. And Hunter Brink out of Kakabeka Falls, Ontario will ride the number 18. So Alex Torma being shown as the 999, now riding the number 10. Race number 38. Here we go.
full to 14. Ryan Rondo does what he does best, and that is lead races. That Kawasaki already dominant. This one's scheduled for five laps in race 38, your ice bike open class. Four eighty nine giving chase. Avery Carr in second. Kawasaki's up front and in command. Caden Katowicz on the two nineteen sounded like eighty six miles per hour on the previous lap, so they are getting a little more speed yet. White flag coming out for your race leader here in the Ice Bike Open class. That is Ryan Rondo out of Winnipeg. Avery Carr second. 219. Caden Katowicz out of Petersfield, Manitoba third. 866. This is William Shannon out of Enola, Manitoba riding a 2022 KTM. Checkered flag for Ryan Rondo. He's seen a few of those in his time. Carr, second. Katowicz, third. And Shannon, unofficially fourth in race 38. The Ice Bike Open, round three. Five lap race. Okay, so race 39 now. will be Superstock 250, 300, and 340 fan combo. So will be their final five laps the distance. Tony Autumn will ride the number 41. Tony is out of Milton, North Dakota, a regular competitor here at CPTC. Tony Autumn will be on a 76 Polaris. The 94 is... Brian Kep out of Rosewood, Manitoba, riding a 76 Mercury. Aboard a 1975 Arctic Cat out of Benito, Manitoba. The 84 is Chad Bartok. And the 15 is Sheldon Carlson out of Mekadoc, North Dakota. That is a 76 Mercury. And riding the 1975 John Deere out of Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, the number 509 is Albert Raddy. race before a Cubex intermission break will bring back the freestyle riders. You'll get a chance to see them again. Well, I'm pretty sure the last time I saw Tony Autumn on the 41 here was an Arctic Cat. Now he's on a Polaris. John Deere Power currently in second. As they race through turns one and two. Superstock 250, 300, and 340 fan combo final. This is five laps. And Sheldon Carlson out of Mackinac, North Dakota in the number one spot on his number 15. That is a 1976 Mercury. Seventy-four miles per hour.
This one scheduled for five laps, race 39 of 49 on the day. 49, of course, will be our Pro Champ 440 class, USSA Pro Star Cup final. 509 looking strong. That is Albert Ratty at a Prince Albert, Saskatchewan on the 75 John Deere leading the 15 of Sheldon Carlson out of Mackinac, North Dakota. White flag, one to go for the John Deere product. Here comes the 41 in the third spot. That is none other than Tony Autumn out of Milton, North Dakota. Checkered flag is in the hands of Riley Baker, our head flagman. And it is going to go to the 509 of Albert Ratty out of Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Looks like the 15 and the 41 will round out the second and third spots. 15, of course, Sheldon Carlson out of Mackinac. The 41, Tony Autumn out of Milton out of 76, Polaris. Well, that'll do it for race action for just a little bit as we move into a Cubex grooming break. Going to take a little intermission. We're going to ask you to head on over to the Moose Den, the beer garden. Check out our full line of CPTC promo wear. Don't forget some great food available at the concession area. Delicious burgers, hot dogs, and all kinds of other great stuff, including French fries and hot beverages. We're going to be back with you with more racing from the Co-op Community Complex, race 40 through 48, then another quick break, and then our final race of the day, the Pro Champ 440 Pro Star Cup Final.
At Co-op, we do things a little differently. Because we're not owned by big wigs in far away places. We're owned by our members, ordinary people supporting local business. We provide local jobs, support local producers, and give back to local causes in our community. It's just part of what makes us a different kind of business. And we think that's pretty cool. Co-op, you're at home here. Beaver Truck Center, Manitoba's Volvo truck and Hino truck dealer, serving our customers in Manitoba and Northwestern Ontario since 1996. With two locations, Winnipeg and Brandon, to serve your trucking requirements, specializing in sales, parts, service, leasing and rentals. For more information, please visit us at www.beavertrucks.com. Combination trick. Great extension for Dan Schaefer. We are back now on the live stream. Cooldown.tv bringing you the action. We are in a Cubex intermission break. We have Whiskey Throttle Motorsports Freestyle Snowcross team here. Do check this out. This is awful cool. Hope you're enjoying the action on the internet, on the World Wide Web here today. Some great racing action, and now a freestyle snowcross demonstration. A little bit of a whip on those heavy sleds, much easier on a lightweight dirt bike. Looking for possibly the lazy boy there, Dan Schaefer. That's when they lay right back on the seat, with their feet extended out the front. That is called the lazy boy. Let's make some noise, Beaujeu, let's pump them up. Mike Poirier with another one. 
Nice smooth landing on the inflatable landing ramp. Getting their distances set, of course. That is a big gap, about 60 feet between those ramps. All right, what do you say, Beaujager? You want to see these riders go even bigger? Let's make some noise. Nice no footed can. Dan Schaefer at the controls of the black sled. Sponsored by FXR Racing and RMC Company. All part of this Whiskey Throttle Motorsports freestyle snowcross demonstration. Good extension. Looking a bit like a Superman with a little more extension. Of course, some of the riders can get right over top of those bars and straight vertical. That is called the kiss of death in freestyle motocross. Oop. Looked like Dan Schaefer on the black sled changed his mind at the last second. Of course, the wind looks like it's picked up here, and that is a huge, huge factor in both freestyle motocross and freestyle snowcross. They are way up in the air, and you get a gust of wind, and it changes everything. Nice in the air from Dan Schaefer. Extending off the back of the sled. Crossing the legs over. All right, Beaujolais, are you ready to make some noise? We've got a special treat for you here, but I gotta hear you scream. It's time for the freestyle snow cross train. Seat grab. Mike Poirier on the red sled. You guys want to see one more? I can't hear you, Beauzeger. Let's make some noise for Whiskey Throttle Motorsports. Keep your heads up, Beaujager. Here we go with a freestyle snowcross train. How about that? The backflip. Great looking backflip from Dan Schaefer, Whiskey Throttle Motorsports on the job. And how about a great big hand for him, ladies and gentlemen? Don't forget, 10 minutes after this show, those guys will be signing autographs and posters at the tent beside the grandstands. How about one more hand for Whiskey Throttle Motorsports?
control. Race 40. Race 41 will control Rides his 77 Yamaha to the number one spot. 509 Albert Ratty is out of Prince Albert on a 75 Mercury. Some pretty cool looking sleds there in that race number 40 for the Superstock 340 Free Air and 340 Liquid as well as the 440 Fans. Next up, race 41 on the schedule. Pro Formula 3, round two for five laps. And here's how it looks. This is the World Championship class, of course, from Eagle River. Pro Formula 3, round two, five laps. And on the 102, sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing and FXR, the 102 is Blaine Stevenson out of St. Cloud, Minnesota. The 75 is going to be Calvin Cook, who I believe will be a scratch in this one. The 220 is Gunnar Stern, G Money out of West Chicago, Illinois, riding the Red Bull Skidoo. The 157 is the father-son team. This is John Hankey out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin, riding a 2023 Skidoo. The number 28 is Matt Gady out of New Germany, Minnesota. Keep your eyes on that rider. And out of the Wall Brothers Racing Team, the 39 is Tom Olson. Tom is out of Lodi, Wisconsin. 75, definitely a scratch. Calvin Cook, definitely a scratch. All right, this will be a good one. Pro Formula 3, 600s. As we get set to go, some of the top riders from the Pro Champ class in this one. Good start for the 157 and the 28 of Gady. Hanky on the 157, Gady on the 28, and Gady on the inside coming out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Take a look at that pass. That was sweet. This race scheduled for five laps. Gady has the lead on the 102. We've got a wreck on the front stretch. Looks like the rider is moving around. How about a hand for that rider, ladies and gentlemen? I was watching the leaders and did not catch what happened, but we'll see if we can get it on. 
cool down TV. That is the 220 of Gunnar Stern, we're told. G Money Gunnar Stern is okay, which is very, very fortunate. Sleds can always be repaired, but I think that might do it for the 220 of G Money Gunnar Stern. Don't forget, he is scheduled to come back for race 49, the USSA Pro Star Cup final. That will be the end of the point series here today after race number 49. The USSA Pro Star Cup was scheduled for eight races. Two were canceled this year. Lane Stevenson was a winner of four on the circuit this year so far on the 102 Wall Brothers sled. All right, I'm taking a look at the cooldown.tv replay. It's a luxury we have here in the booth. And, ooh, it looks like he did it by himself. Can we had a turn number four and sled high-sided. And, whoa, thank gosh it missed him for those of you watching and cooldown.tv and the YouTube channel for CPTC. Tough break. You don't often see that out of Gunnar Stern, but hit something on the track, maybe a bump or something caught on the ski. Not quite sure, but that was a rough ride, but that Gunnar Stern is about as tough as they come in snowmobile racing, so he hops up and he'll be back, no doubt about that. Race 41, Pro Formula 3 is on the track. As you have a look at that Beautiful Red Bull Skidoo. Not too many sleds on the planet better prepared than that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a total of $2,530 in the 50-50 draw. That was collected. The prize, of course, will be half of that, which is $1,265. The winning number will be 519940. Again, the winning 50-50 ticket for the Knights of Columbus, 519940. All right, once again, the winning 50-50 ticket number, 519940. All right, just drawing the 50-50 once again. 519-940, you're one, or you have won $1,265. Take your winning ticket to the beer garden. 519-940 for the Knights of Columbus 50-50 draw. You've won $1,265 as we get set to go back to race 41 after a Gunner Stern crash. Ho, oh, oh, what a start. Did you see that 157 get off the line? He's got something cooking underneath that hood. The battle now out of turn number four. They are moving. Wall Brothers Racing 102. Look at this race side by side. 96 miles per hour. Blaine Stevenson out of St. Cloud, Minnesota. Taking that Polaris up front. Now Gady coming up to join the party. Matt Gady on the number 28. Out of New Germany, Minnesota, the 2023 Skidoo. Looking 
into clean air into turn three. Matt Gady, Blaine Stevenson, and the 39 of Tom Olson. One, two, three here. Hanky on the one, five, seven, fourth. Well, what a start he had. White flag, one to go for Matt Gady, who has a huge advantage now. Gady seems to be getting quicker and quicker with each and every lap. Checkered flag for Matt Gady, second spot, Blaine Stevenson, and Tom Olson, third. Wall Brothers Racing, second and third there. The 102 and the 39, finishing second and third. 157, John Hanke, out of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin, rides his 2023 Skidoo to fourth spot unofficially in race 41, your Pro Formula 3 class. Moving right along into race 42, the Sportsman 600s. One of my favorite classes, usually very, very competitive. Will Manchalenko will be on the number 23 out of St. Malo, Manitoba. Riding out of Bozizier, a couple of riders. The 13 is John Hall, and the 15 is Kyle Omachinski. Also out of Bozizier, DJ Saluk is on the 16. The 34X is Kale Bellow out of Wapen, Wisconsin. The 179 is Jason Mackey from Lanigan, Saskatchewan. Riding the three, Scott Wagner, he is out of Prada, and the 41 is Austin Madison out of Badger, Minnesota. Sportsman 600s, race 42. Getting set to go, Riley Baker looking him over. It looks tight in turn number one and two, and look at him fly down the back straightaway now. Through turn three and four, so far pretty clean. Riders on the inside and on the outside. Saluk in the 16, being pursued by the 15 of Kyle Omachinski and the 23 of Will Manchalenko. That is your top three so far. Great racing for third, fourth, and fifth here in race 42, your Sportsman 600 class. Out of turn four they come now, and they are moving. John Hall out of Beauzeur on the number 13. Has some speed now. 89 miles per hour on the previous lap. So they are hauling the mail. Sixteen, fifteen, thirteen, twenty-three. And the number three of Scott Wagner in fifth spot unofficially. Great battle for the lead as Omachinski on the 15 comes up and tries to pass on the outside to no avail this time at least. White flag is out. Look at this battle, the 16 and the 15. Both riders out of Bozizier, Manitoba. DJ Saluk out of Bozizier. The 15 of Kyle Omachinski out of Bozizier. One, two on the racetrack. Two corners remaining and one straightaway. And your leader now down that front straightaway. It's going to be the 16, followed by Omachinski. 13 will be third. That's John Hall. Then the three and the 23. Scott Wagner. And Will Manchalenko will round out the top five there in race 42, your Sportsman 600 class.
Next up, we move to four wheels and the ATV Open. We'll have that lineup for you in just a sec. All right, ATV open on the racetrack. The 14 is going to be Rob Clark from Bozizier. Also from the same town, the 13 is Tyler Feeblecorn. Ethan Clark also takes residency here in Bozizier. He rides the number 44. 22 is Mike Verbruge out of Garson. The 20, Peter Friesen. The 29 is Corey Johnson out of Oak Bank, Manitoba. And the 71 is Ryan Gibson out of Bozizier. That is your lineup in the ATV Open. Keep your eyes on that 86 Honda of Ryan Gibson out of Bozizier. He's gonna start at the back. That looks like a 250R, and it looks pretty quick. All right, so racing down the back straightaway now. And into turn three and four. A little bit of snow dust as some of those ATVs do a bicycle maneuver in three and four where the outside tires stay down, the inside tires come up. Good racing up front. I think and suspect that Ryan Gibson out of Bozizer on that 71 Honda is going to be up front here momentarily. 71 miles per hour for the number 71. Three wide into turn number one and two. And the riders giving each other plenty of room, fortunately. You don't want to hook those open wheels. Gibson the leader. White flag coming out this time around in the ATV Open class, signifying just one more lap remaining. Looks like Ryan Gibson out of Bozizier has it figured out on his 1986 Honda. That is a two stroke. 71, your leader working in turn three and four. Going pretty quick so far this weekend. And there's a checkered flag for the 71. Looks like the 22 unofficially was second. We will bring you the official results on cooldown.tv, of course, during our replay segment. And ATV Open are in the books. Race 44, Pro Formula 500s. We will do it three times in a row. Race 44, race 45, and race 46. All Pro Formula 500 races. All round three. We'll have heat one, two, and three for race 44, race 45, and race 46. All right, so race number 44, Pro Formula 500s. Let's get to the lineup. Out of Middle River, Minnesota, the number 111 is Tanner Foss. Riding out of Wisconsin, the 34X is Kale Bellow. 
33C is Mike Schultz from Thunder Bay. The 15 is Kyle Olmachinski. Olmachinski is a Bozizier rider. Out of Wausau, Wisconsin, the 22A is Colton Abraham. The 13 is Dale Hunter. And the 113 is Hanna Westland out of Strathcona. All right, look at them over at the starting line, and here we go racing in the Pro Formula 500 class. Race 44, Pro Formula 500s. Round three, heat one. 22A up front, that is Colton Abraham out of Wausau, Wisconsin. The 111 is Tanner Foss from Middle River, Minnesota. 1989 Polaris. And that 111 takes the lead. One eleven, the twenty-two, and the thirteen of Dale Hunter, third Hunter out of Ontario on a nineteen ninety Polaris. Eighty-one miles per hour on the previous lap here. As we continue in race forty-four, your Pro Formula five hundred class. Green flag being displayed. For Tanner Foss out of Middle River, Minnesota. Middle River located right between Greenbush and Thief River Falls, if I remember correctly, not too far from here. Badger's not far, you're right. I was gonna say that, so stop badgering me. I, I was gonna tell him that. Not much changing in the top three on the white flag lap. 33C is fourth. That is Mike Schultz out of Thunder Bay. 1990 Polaris. Checkers to Tanner Foss, second to the 22A. Colton Abraham and third will go to the Number 13 of Dale Hunter out of Thamesford, Ontario. 1990 Polaris. Good run for Dale Hunter on the 13, picking up the third spot in race 44. Race 45 will be the same class. Pro Formula 500, round three, heat number two. We'll bring you that lineup in just a moment. Here they come already. Here they come. Bruce Rosentretter is out of Whitemouth, Manitoba on a 2015 Acme chassis. Bruce Rosentretter on the number 96. The nine is Stefan Karagnan out of Winnipeg, 1991 Skidoo. Riding an 89 Polaris, number 95 out of Merlo, Ontario is Jerry LePage. Mike Shackelford is on the 446 and Mike is from Oakville, Manitoba on a 1990 Polaris. Also on a 1990 Polaris, the 34 is Colton Neewolney out of Medford, Wisconsin. The 135 is Blair McDonald from Grand Point, Manitoba. And rounding out the field, a rider out of Bozeger on a 1989 Polaris. The number 17 is Jared Sackvi. Jared Sackvi on the 17 out of Bozeger. Getting set for more Pro Formula 500 action. Race 45. Getting to the end here, race 49 will be your last race of the day. <laughs> 96 looking to go around the outside. That is Rosentreader on the throttle. Green flag being displayed as your leaders head down the front chute. Colton Niewalny on the number 34 showing the way. Eighty-three miles per hour.
Rosentretter followed by Shackelford, the 95 of LePage right there. Jared Sackley is on the 17, rounding out the top five in race number 45. Still under green. Great battle between the 17 and the 95 into turn number one and two. Jared Sackley out of Bolzinger on the 17, the 95. Jerry LePage out of Murillo, Ontario. Racing side by side. Dee Walney takes the white flag. Rosentretter second. Mike Shackelford out of Oakville on the inside now as they head out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Shackelford has a run on Rosentretter. That is the best race in the place right now as your leader, Nee Walney, comes out of turn four. But let's look in turn four now. Winner is the 34 of Nee Walney, then Shackelford with a great pass on the 96 of Rosentretter. The 17, Jared Sackvey, and the 95 fifth, that is Jerry LePage out of Ontario. Larry McDonald on the 135 and Stefan Kerrignan on the nine come across the line as well. That was a good race, a nice job by the 446 of Mike Shackelford working on Rosentretter and Newalney takes the win. Colton Newalney out of Medford, Wisconsin on a 1990 Polaris, number 34, collects the checkered flag in race 45. Race 46 coming up, Pro Formula 500, round three, heat three. 22W will be Warren Leba out of Bluffton, Alberta. Riding the 54 is Tom Kielbach from Beausager. The 111 is Dave Blair from Owen Sound, Ontario. The 113 is Kendra Westland from Strathcona. The 41 is Austin Madison out of Badger. And the 580 is Caroline Allard from Roseau, Minnesota. That is a 1989 Polaris. Good looking 22W, sponsored by Napa. On the inside of the track, that is Warren Leba out of Bluffton, Alberta. 1990 Polaris chassis underneath that good looking bodywork. Oh, looks like we got a jumper, and I think I know who it is, but I'm gonna wait for the official call on the radio. It was close, you're right, correct. We will bring him back to the starting line and try one more time, I think. But we did have a jumper there in race number 46. All right, getting them lined up once again for race 46, Pro Formula 500, round three, heat three. Next up, Junior 1380 and Junior 2600 sprint for five. Then race 48 will bring back the Outlaw 600s before an intermission break. And getting set to go racing. Great start for Leva. The number 113 of Kendra Westland was blamed for the early start. And it is tight in turn one and two. Wow. Second place almost looping it over there. But what a great start by the 22W of Warren Leva out of Bluffton, Alberta, Canada. Thank you. 
Number 113 fighting back very quickly, however, that is Kendra Westland out of Strathcona, Minnesota. 78 miles per hour for your race leader, and look at Westland on the outside, all the way back up to the second spot already. After jumping the start, starting into second row, back up to second spot, but Leba has a huge lead right now. Leba ticks off another lap on that good-looking Napa 22W. Westland, while at least a corner behind, 54 on the 41, continue to battle. Tom Kielbach out of Bozeger on the 54. Austin Madison out of Badger, Minnesota on the 41. White flag for the Napa 22W out of Bluffton, Alberta. And checkered flag, not much question about that one. Warren Leba out of Bluffton, Alberta on the 1990 Polaris will take the win. 113 of Kendra Westland out of Strathcona rides the 92 Polaris to second spot. 54, third, Tom Kielbach, the 41, fourth, Austin Madison out of Badger, Minnesota. Race 47 on deck, Junior 1380 and Junior 2 600 sprints coming up. Then the Outlaw 600s with the roll cages. Then an intermission break and we will finish off the day with race number 49, the USSA Pro Star Cup Final for Pro Champ 440s. That is going to be a barn burner. Fly Racing is committed to developing the highest quality apparel, accessories, and hard parts for whatever sport you love. Visit them at flyracing.com to view and purchase the best in all weather race gear. Proud sponsor of the USSA Pro Star Cup. And 365 Power Sports is a local shop in Merrill, Wisconsin, and is known for their inventory for year-round activities. They've been in the industry for over 40 years and will get you ready for whatever adventure you are going on. Junior 1 380 and Junior 2 600 sprint. Carson Peterson is on the 43. The 53 is Alyssa Gusta out of Stead. Riding the 60, Braxton Cassidy out of St. Genevieve, Manitoba. And the 59 is Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota. 2020 Johnson Racing Chassis. And the 916, Harrison LaFever out of Hibbing, Minnesota. Good racing up front here early in race number 47 on your race schedule. Harrison Lefevre out of Hibbing is the leader with Hunter Johnson in tow. Eighty-two miles per hour on the previous lap. So going along pretty quick here on the big half mile oval. Harrison Lefevre is flying here. The rider a lap down in turn number one and two. This Junior 1 380 and Junior 2 600 sprint race scheduled for five laps. The 
One to go for Harrison LeFaber. About a half straightaway lead on the 59 of Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota. And that'll do it for the 916. Harrison LeFaver besting the 59 of Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota. 53 third, that is the Gusta Sod Farms. 53 of Alyssa Gusta out of Stead, Manitoba. 43, fourth, Carson Peterson in the 60. Braxton Cassidy out of St. Genevieve, Manitoba. That is a 1999 Polaris coming across in the fifth spot. All right, next up, Outlaw 600s, and we'll have that line up momentarily. But first, we'll tell you a little bit about these roll-caged 600cc Outlaws. Well, of course, they use a 600cc engine with modified pipes. They make about 130 horsepower. They have to weigh 875 pounds with driver following the race, 875. Started 12 years ago or so, and they actually started actually racing in Beausager. They tested them in the States and then brought them here to race them for the first time ever. They'll hit speeds around 80, 85 miles per hour. And now this Outlaw 600 class will be part of the USSA Point Series next year in Beausager. So these drivers that want to compete on the entire USSA Tour have to come to Beausager in December if they want to get points. The 84 is Nathan Gebhard, the 19 Chris Plasky, riding the 14 is Jacob Gebhard, the 18 is Tim Gebhard, Joe Schneider is on the 06, or in the 06, and the 71N is Donnie Neubauer out of Westboro, Wisconsin. So five of the six drivers here are from St. Germain, Wisconsin. The lone rider driver is the 71N, Donnie Neubauer, out of Westboro. That is an Arctic Cat. Chris Plasky driving the number 19. Here's the number one in the second spot. I do not have a number one on my lineup sheets. Maybe that's the 71N. I'll have to take a look at that. Oh, the 71 is third. That's not 84 and the 14. Well, we're trying to figure out on our lineup sheets who the number one is. He is your leader, but not on our lineup sheets. Nineteen, eighteen is out there. We're looking at our lineup sheets. Eighty-four is out there. And the fourteen is out there. Wonder if that could be Joe Schneider in that number one taking the victory. Not sure. We don't have an 06 out there, but we did have a number one. Gotta guess that could be Joe Schneider out of St. Germain, Wisconsin. That is going to be our best guess. Joe Schneider on our lineup sheets is listed as 06, not number one. So anyway, with that being said, the Outlaw 600 class is complete. We are now at the conclusion of race number 48. So. Time for a Cubex intermission break, and then we will be back with the final race of the day, and that will be your USSA Pro Star Cup final. 15 laps on the docket. We'll be back momentarily with the Pro Champ 440 class.
match near you. We at USSA Pro Star Series use Incredible Bank and so should you.
wall to the announcers. Tom. Attention everyone, we are about two minutes away to the USSA Pro Star 440 final. On Test on two.
All right, everybody, here it is, the Pro Star Cup Tour, top 12. We're going to start with number 12 in the back row. We got number 11, Fred Menke. Qualifying 11th today, number 5, Russell Leba. Sorry about that. Qualifying 10th on the front row, winning the LCQ today. Number three, Danik Lambert. Number nine, qualifying today, hometown boy. What number are you? Number eight, Travis McDonald. I know, I gotta get, get my. <laughs> qualifying seven. Oh, we yeah. No, qualifying eighth, number 39, Thomas Olsen. Qualifying seventh today, number 157, John Hankey. And qualifying sixth, your number 54, Calvin Peterson. Number five today, qualifying number 21, Tyler O'Day. Qualifying fourth today, and your points leader, number 102, Blaine Stevenson. And qualifying third, number 28, Matt Gady. And your number two qualifier today, G twenty two twenty G Money Gunner Stern. And uh, your top qualifier today, winning all of his heats, number thirty nine X, Justin Peterson. All right, boys, let's have a clean race. Start your engines. with some of the top riders in the world ready to do battle. What a season for the number 102, sponsored by Wall Brothers Racing. That, of course, is Blaine Stevenson out of St. Cloud, Minnesota. Current USSA points leader with a total of four feature wins. Winner in Bonacher and Valcourt. Two-time Pro Star Cup champ, four-time Eagle River World Champion, the 2020 Canadian Champion. Sponsored by Wall Brothers, Polaris, FXR, Woodies, and Walker Evans. What a tough field here of USSA Pro Champs. This is the final race and the final points race of the season right here in Canada. Nice to have the USSA Pro Star Cup with us as we get set to go racing right here, right now, in Beauzeur. Who's ready for a little racing action, Beauzeur? Let's hear you make some noise. This is for all the marbles. We will have a podium after this. Present the top three awards for first, second, and third. There's Danique Lambert out of Sorel Tracy, Quebec. On the outside of row one, the last two qualifiers, then the last chance qualifier start on the back row. Green flag, here we go. It looks like a clean start. Side by side in a turn one and two they go. And these guys are flying. Through turn three and four they go, and they are moving right along as they head down the front straightaway. It is the 39 battling with the 220 of Stern. 
What a battle this is, wow. Here they come down the front straightaway once again as G-Money, the 220 Gunner Stern. Out front and in command on the Red Bull Skidoo. He is extremely fast at this racetrack and knows how to get around it and is showing that right now. What can you say about the 220 of Gunner Stern out of West Chicago, four-time TLR Cup champion, a CBTC champion. Sponsored by Red Bull, Skidoo, FXR, and Woodies. Some great action happening right now. Fourth, fifth, and sixth on the racetrack. But right now, G-Money is in command where he likes to be. Mm -hmm. 39X, Justin Peterson out of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. On the Hool chassis looking pretty sharp as he battles in the top five here. There are some real tough hombres in this one. Matt Gady, uh oh, troubles for the 39. Running second. Looks like Matt Gady will inherit the second spot here now. Tough break for Justin Peterson on the 39X as Stern races by once again. A big lead on the 28 of Gady, Stevenson, then the 54, in the fourth spot. That is Calvin Peterson out of Eden, Wisconsin, the cousin to the 39X of Justin Peterson. Wow, is this rider putting down laps fast. Gunnar Stern way in command. Another sled goes down on the front straightaway. That is the 54 going down now. A tough break for the rider of the number 54, Calvin Peterson, who walks disgustedly away from that 54. Out of Eden, Wisconsin. Ninety-five miles per hour for your leader on the previous lap. Green flag still displayed now for G Money Gunner Stern. Eighty in a distant second. Stevenson third. Oh, another rider goes down. We are having mechanical problems here, left, right, and center, in this USSA Pro Star Cup final. There are sleds littered all over the track. Danny Lambert out of Quebec heads on by with the 39 and the 11 in tow. Gunnar Stern well in command of this one so far. Second place, Gady goes down now on the outside of the back straightaway and almost gets clipped. This is wild. I don't know if the fastest sled wins here or the one that survives. What a wild affair here in the final. USSA Pro Star Cup Race of the Year. White flag for Stern Stevenson now in tow. But he's got a ways to go if he wants to catch G Money out of West Chicago, Illinois. Here he comes. 
They're gonna make this one interesting. Here they come to the checkered flag. It's gonna be... Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm not calling that one. I'm gonna wait for an official result. That was too close to call. I had no idea that the 102 of Stevenson was in that much of a hurry. And that, I believe, is that Stern to our right in turn one? Wow. All right, just awaiting the official call here on that finish. That was absolutely the most unbelievable finish I have ever seen here in Beauzeur. What a tough break for, well, more than half the field here. All right, we're just going over our cooldown.tv replay. We want to make sure we got this right. All right, it is official. Your winner, Gunnar Stern. What a finish here as we get our sleds back towards the start finish line. That race was something else, but there's the checkered flag in the hands of the winner and that must have been stressful on that final lap. One oh two Blaine Stevenson to the front straightaway. Great crowd here today. We want to thank you all for coming out so much and enjoying what was a fantastic day of racing and an even better finish. I don't think I've ever seen that many sleds drop out and what a bunch of drama in that final, but that's why we come to the racetrack. It gets decided on the track, not in the pit area, and it certainly did today. We're going to turn things down to the front straightaway here momentarily to talk to the riders and find out what that was all about during that final USSA Pro Star Cup final of the year. Don't forget, we're back here tomorrow in Beauzeur at the Co-op Community Complex. Again, want to thank everybody for coming out and enjoying racing tomorrow to do the 61st Canadian Power Toboggan Championship. We will crown a champion here tomorrow and looking forward to that. Talk about using every inch of your equipment, the 220 Gunner Stern. I'd love to find out what happened to that sled at the finish line, but we will try to find that out later on in the pit area and report to you tomorrow. I'm sure that sled will get worked on and be ready for the Canadian Power Toboggan Championships tomorrow right here at the Co-op Community Complex, but what a great win. Rico is with us here from USSA. As Stevenson rolls in, the Wall Brothers Racing 102. Can't wait to hear these interviews. This is going to be something pretty cool, I think. As G Money Gunner Stern rolls into Victory Lane, part of your USSA Pro Star Cup final. Some of the best snowmobile racers in the world right there in front of you. What a cool place to be in Beauzeur, Manitoba. All right, what a race, huh? All from Quebec today, coming in third, Danik Lambert. So Danik, how was it out there? Oh, you know, the track was pretty soft. Uh I think it's pretty good for a Saturday to have a beautiful track like this. Uh, actually, it's my first podium in champ, oh, with the USSA, I mean, so it's for sure special because it's the first weekend that I'm here without my family. First time in 20 years I come racing without them, so it's, it's, it's awesome right now. You got us as family here, right? Yeah, you're just part of my family now. <laughs> there you go. Taking third, Danek Lambert.
All right, we're going to be here with the number two, finishing second. What a close race. The number 102, Blaine Stevenson. Blaine, what do you want to tell your fans here? Hi. Uh, yeah, it was great to see everybody here at Bonjour. You know, we never come here and win, so it's, uh, it sucks that we can't put on a better show. But um, coming from about eighth to about four inches, that's pretty good, I guess. So uh, hats off to our entire team. Claire, Swab Brothers, FXR, um, Woody's Traction, 60 Helmets, uh, Power Mad, Omni Training Center. Uh, you know, I just can't thank everybody at Wall Brothers enough. Dave Dermont, Dustin, uh, everybody back at the shop, Jeff, Terry, Brandon, Jordan, uh, Mary, just uh, teammate Tom, everybody that supports us. Um, yeah, just poor decision on my end to, to start way in the bottom and got yeah, pinched. And um, yeah, if we ever get a whole shot, we'll win these a lot more. There you go. Blaine Stevenson, number 102. And your winner for the day, number 20, G Money Gunner Stern. All right, Gunner. Quite the race there right at the end. Uh, what were you thinking? Um, I was just hoping my sled was going to make it. Uh, it was getting hot there. About three laps from the end, it was re we really just started slowing down, um, you know. I'm banged up. The sled's banged up, but we finished it. We got the we got the win. So that's that's all that matters, honestly. He's just he's uh, getting the win, and it all goes to uh, just my guys and and you know everyone just works so hard on this team. Um, you know we're a family built team. We you know own, own our sleds and work on stuff and throughout the weekends and throughout the weeks and you know it's a lot of hard work, but it pays off when you can uh, when you can grab a win here in Beaujolais. Um, you know it's been one of my favorite tracks. Um, um, racing here for for. A, for a long time, um, and it's uh, yeah, it's it's good to come out on top. Honestly, after uh, past couple of weeks we've had, you know, struggling with the sled, um, it's nice to get a, get a win again here. Um, and you know, it's also like to thank all my sponsors, um, FXR, you know, out of Winnipeg here, Tuba Tiles, Red Bull supporting me through everything, Skidoo, Engine Ice, Aqua Finance um, supporting us this year again, um, Brookstone Construction, Feast Oil, Country Financial. Abraham trucking and excavating, supporting us. Um, you know, Colton Abraham out here racing today. He's uh, he's gonna be on one of these champs here pretty soon, and uh, we'll see him out here. Um, love the you know that family supporting us, um, and just uh, everyone else. You know, everyone on my team, Mike, my parents, Macy, Tim. Um, it's just it's just uh, it's it's a lot of work, but it's uh, it pays off here. So, well, good job. There you go. There's your uh, leader, your winner, number two twenty, Gunnar Stern. And, you know, I'm going to actually go back to Danik here. Danik hasn't, you know, he's done a lot to try to get up here on this podium, and I can tell he's nervous. So the one thing that he did forget, let's hear some sponsors that put you here. Yeah, of course, we've got a ton of sponsor. First of all, I want to thank Spall and the crew. Uh, it's because of them. If I can uh, live my dream and race Pro Champ, then Shoko Design. Can we move a little bit so yeah. I can not forget anyone? Uh, <laughs> Skeleton Truck Line, Mike is here with us. Uh, Dofrolex, we got uh, Joliette Nissan, Les Petrologues, Courchain, Crapolaris, IGA Marchand de Retelier, OPG, BCI Excavation, CNC Tracy, uh, Rosaire, uh, Laveur de Vite, uh, Remec. Je pense ça fait le tour. Je, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. You guys got that. <laughs> there you go, your top three. All right, I'll turn it back up to you there. Well, thanks very much, Rico. We appreciate everybody coming down to the co-op community complex here. What a great day of racing. Some fantastic finishes throughout the day. And we're going to do it all tomorrow. Start out with a vintage parade, of course. All kinds of activities. Don't forget to visit the Moose Den over. That is the beer garden over just to the right of our grandstand. If you're sitting in the grandstand, the Moose Den is over to the right. So be sure and visit our beer garden. Enjoy the festivities for the rest of the day. And don't forget, we're back here tomorrow. That is going to be a great day with some more great weather. So once again, thanks very much to coming out, or rather for coming out to the Co-op Community Complex. And we will see you tomorrow right here in Beauzeger. Thanks very much.